Welcome to the 12 Days of Podcast. This series of 12 perfect episodes is brought to you by the good people at Def Jam. Some people ask me, hey Jeff, what Christmas gift do I get the man in my life? The easy answer is a bomb shelter. But here's another suggestion. For the man who likes to drink, the man who likes to smoke, the man who likes to mix Arm and Hammer with his Coke, the man who's at the trap, who likes to grind, who's all about his paper because they like to shine, check out Pressure, the new album from Jeezy in stores and on JeezyShop.com. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Eric. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Day seven of the 12 Days of Podcast. For anybody out there who doesn't know what this is, it's 12 Days of Christmas, but really, it's just podcasts every day for those 12 days. Yeah, we don't know the rules of Christmas because <laughs> we are Jews and... This, this is, is how we celebrate 12 days of podcasts just killing ourselves to make these things happen every day. That actually does sound very Jewish. It's so Jewish. <laughs> so in order so far, we have had episode 150... Yeah, where we answered people's questions. Right, uh, episode 151. Where we had a whole bunch of people over here to talk about the urine rap. Correct. We followed that up with Upscale Vandal. Yes. Then we had Carly Hustle. Mm-hmm. Then, then we Fat had Foo. Fat Foo. Yep. And OT Genesis. Yeah. And today... Today on the podcast... We reunite with our Locks brethren, Styles and Chic to do what we hinted at doing... On our Full Locks podcast, two Jews and two black dudes review the movies. But we're not actually reviewing the movies this time. Well, we'll get there in just a second. I just want to remind everyone what's going down on January 10th, 2018. We are going to be live on stage doing a live podcast at SOB's here in New York City. Guys, you know the deal. Tickets are on sale right now at itsthereal.com. It's storytelling. It's music. It's comedy. It's a hell of a show. We've done it in New York. We've done it in Los Angeles. We've done it in London. It's time now to bring it to the SOB's stage to start 2018 off right. Jeff, are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited too. Oh, good. You guys should be excited. Shout out to everybody who is buying their tickets early. They will sell out. So now is the time to get a ticket for yourself and get a ticket for a friend. It's the real.com is where you go. And you can expect lots of fun on January 10th, 2018. I'll be there. I will be there as well. Yamo will be there. Yamo will be there. <laughs> So we had the locks on probably a month ago or something, right? Yeah. And this was just to celebrate their new EP for no reason that they were putting out. They're longtime friends of ours. We sat around the table. We had a great time. It was just a wild conversation. Yeah, I mean, Jada Kiss was on edibles. So was Styles. Styles was on edibles. And Styles stood up and he looked at the books on the bookshelf behind him. And here's what happened. See this? Wow. I got the dude book. Yo. Oh, the best. Dude. Hell the yeah. best. Hell yeah. Yo, talk about Big Lebowski. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's <laughs> always old. Yeah. It's the best. So just finish saying. watching it. Oh, it's the best. Man. It's Eric's favorite movie. It is my favorite movie. It's your favorite movie? Yeah, I promise you. Bring it in. Come on. <laughs> so it's not my favorite, but it's up there. Oh, all right. That's, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, you what is smoke. your favorite? <laughs> I don't actually particularly have a favorite, but I got a lot of favorites. I'm, I'm, I'm a not one. Movie, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So it could be like mobsters. To it could be to young guns. To you know, it's one of the greatest movies that ever went. That ever existed, and I know you with me on this. Tropic Thunder, baby. Tropic Thunder is absolutely Tropic outstanding. Thunder, baby. I fucking love that yeah, movie. I know man. you with me on this and, one. And, baby. Anybody had any That's kind of the top. quarrels ever with my man Downey doing ever. fucking oh, black blackface? That doesn't was, matter. Yeah, that you was, fucking yeah. nailed it, baby. You nailed it, baby. Oh my god, he deserved the Oscar. That's right. They had Tom Cruise in it. Come on, man. Matthew oh, he was funny. How as fuck. could you beat that? Yeah. It's like the ultimate white shit. Like you know, Yo, I'm coming up with a lot of ideas right now. You need to be doing movie reviews. Like, let's go, baby. <laughs> let's do it let's do it let's do it Look, him too yeah. Uh, yeah. we do we do this movie shit do you guys agree on everything or no movie wise no 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 not, nah, at, all. not at all <laughs> but we watch pretty you know well what's a movie that you guys like really disagree on he likes a, I, I like a Call lot of the Marvel, Marvel and the, um, the, um, some of the ones that he shot me when he said that shit was garbage <laughs> like certain, certain, um, yeah, he'd be like some garbage some shit, shit some shit's be dope to me man you know which one they really disagree on the color purple <laughs> <laughs> You so harpo to beat me. Yo, man. I don't know what we really disagree on, but you we agree show on. is ugly. Like, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you some shit. Like, how you might think of putting on a, uh, some comedy shit. Yeah. I'll watch the Django for that fucking comedy. I'll yeah, watch that shit and laugh my ass off. Django. Hey, for the Django. Hey, for yeah. a great movie. You gonna let this nigga talk to you like that? Comedy. Yo, that, yeah. that's comedy. Yo, come on. You know, we like, we, we the Django? Yeah. yeah. Man, Yo. listen. We gonna split. We gonna do a movie thing together. We gonna do We gonna do the shit together. Yeah. We gonna do the movie thing together. Hilarious, man. 
We're going to call it Two Jews and a Black Dude. Uh, review the movie. Gotta do, <laughs> when we got a so, in Connecticut or something. Two Jews, like, two Black Dudes. Jay review the movie. Got, we can pull it up on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. That's the name of our shit, Luce. You heard? Two Jews and two Black Dudes. Review the movie. Let's, Let's go. get it. So what we're going to do eventually is actually go to the movie theaters with Sheik and Siles, watch a movie, and review it for you guys afterwards. Right. But today we are just going through Netflix and saying these are the things that we would want to watch. Because we get asked all the time, hey... What do you guys watch on Netflix? Right, what you're do you always guys asking me yeah. on <laughs> Netflix. You're the person that and, asks me. And today yeah. is the day that we finally answer our top ten. That's my top ten, Jeff's top ten, Sheik's top ten, and Styles' top ten. And we had a special visit in the middle of the episode. From, should we say? Let's let the people guess. This is called Two Jews and Two Black Dudes Review the Movies. Jeff, when you want to get into it? Right after I tell people, tomorrow we're going to have T Grizzly on the podcast. All right. So when do you want to get into this episode? Right now. Yo, what up? It's Eric, a.k.a. Catch and Release, a.k.a. Let the Locks Go. Yo, what up? It's Jeff, a.k.a. Hit You From A Block Away, a.k.a. Boost Mobile. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Sheik Lutz, a.k.a. Donnie G, a.k.a. The Will I Am in this shit. <laughs> yo, yo, what up? It's SP The Ghost, a.k.a. Honorary Jew, a.k.a. It's <laughs> Eat Plants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a waste of time, but this is the real. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> yo, so for everybody who listens to that epic episode with the locks from a few weeks back, you know that right in the middle, we started talking about movies and the idea just sort of like went around the room to do two Jews and two black dudes review the movies. No doubt. Two and, Jews and two and black dudes and, oh wait, review did we, the Did we figure movies. it out? Do two black dudes... Do, does it come first for oh. two black dudes, two Jews? No, nah, no, nah, we might have to do two Jews for selling purposes. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, two yeah, Jews yeah. first. Selling point. Yeah, yeah. Selling point, we're going to keep it at two dudes. Jews and two yeah. black dudes. Let's be sensible. Yeah. Exactly. Let's be sensible. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do so business. Are we doing this right now? I got a feeling this is about to take off something crazy. Yo, yeah, listen. Yeah. This is not just a one-time thing. This is going to be know. a reoccurring Definitely. series where we're actually going to like watch new movies. But today what we wanted to do was we wanted to go through Netflix because everyone always asks, like, yo, what are you watching on Netflix right now? Right. What is like the series or the movie to watch? And we came up to Yonkers. We are at D Block Studios. Thanks. We're in the red room right now, y'all. And we have all gone <laughs> yeah. through and picked out certain things that we want to talk about from Netflix that are on right now. Right. We each have top ten lists. We're not talking about like you can order them on DVDs necessarily. No. Um nah, I should is all Netflix, God. But here's but here's the but here's the thing, guys. You guys love movies. This yeah. isn't just like, oh, let's try something new. This is right. you guys like I'm talking when you guys were on tour buses with VHS, right? All day. Yeah. Like yeah. did you yeah. guys ever like buy the bootleg DVDs from like yeah. the Chinese people we who walk home- up and down? No, we go to our homeboy in the hood named Fon. Fon. Shout out to Fonz and all the food like, He might. I could bring you down after this. Meet him if you want. Oh, you got some right at deep. This shit. Oh, you, you missing? Oh, and then my man Vern at the time. He's the. All them shits. All you was missing was the popcorn. Them shits. <laughs> is it? Real. Are they filmed well or are, are they straight rips? No, no, no. They filmed Not great. Well, well, well. This is HD like, versions. This is I don't like know a, how. Um, yeah, they give a Yelp free review fire for... stick. You can count it on this. There's one person in this studio that doesn't care if the guy's walking past with his bitch in the movie and you're watching it. That's Poobs. He'll watch That's that poobs. shit no matter anything. what. I ain't with it. Yo, so what what were the what was in the regular rotation when you guys were on the Bad Boy reunion tour? What was we watching during that time? Um Damn, uh, uh, uh. You watched a lot of it, a little I'm, bit of everything. You know what, though? I don't see, damn, see, this is all Netflix, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had my shit on, but mine's was, I was on, my, I was watching Good Times. Really? And, and um, and, um, <laughs> Welcome Back Card and all them kind of TV shows back this See, that's, I'm sorry it's not on Netflix, but. Yeah, all yeah. that Nick and Knight yeah, stuff. And yeah, and a lot of wrestling, because yeah. our DJ Tech, he lives on for straight wrestling and shit <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? And the fucking, um, but, I was mad at Good Times and some of that, too, too though. Hurt you some. You know what it was? I <laughs> hate fucking sad. dead serious comedies. Make you sad sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I hate serious comedies. I need to laugh straight up. I need to you know this is a funny show. Other than that, right? You, you need so, that two two seven. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Turning it off, upset. Like what the fuck? They shot JJ. <laughs> Yo. Yo, and the other the other thing that we were talking about off mic before <laughs> was that um, and we're gonna go see movies like in the theater. Definitely, but. but Styles, you were talking about a certain movie that you're glad is not on Netflix, or you're, or, or were you upset that's not on Netflix because you wanted to shit on it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to shit on the um, 
What's the name? What's the Planet newest ape movie? Planet Apes, the third the version. The last one. Whatever the fuck, War of the Apes. <laughs> I hated that shit because it was a sneak slave movie. Yeah, <laughs> that shit it was, was, was political. Yeah, it was. Put, I ain't. I wasn't. I gave me. I ain't sitting there. I just felt uncomfortable watching it. Yeah. I ain't like that. Woody's my man too. I love Woody Harrelson. He's a great actor, class A man from Cheers. From Cheers, yeah. So yeah. for fucking everything, to, um. True detective, all that. Woody You're got, on board. Got yeah, a, everything, a, but he has amazing range. <laughs> yeah, yeah the Planet yeah, of the Apes. That don't last fuck one that wasn't Woody. better than the rest. That shit alone, man. It wasn't better than the rest. I watched it nah. with the Chinese words at the bottom, and because I, I, I couldn't tell what the, I couldn't tell what the gorillas were saying and shit. Yeah. But I, I still watched. It. It I started that, to make like, my own thing up what they were saying. <laughs> my son said, "Dad, we can't watch it like this, Dad." <laughs> He was pissed at me and shit. I still got through it though. <laughs> or, especially at the, the end yeah, when, if you see when she's a dog. That's a crispy ape song. <laughs> yeah. I was like, word. I went to the stick. I'm like, yo, it's, it's writing though. It's like Japanese writing. He was like, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck are uh, you watching? I know, yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> so that is not on Netflix right now. Yeah, if it was, I would shit on it. Right. So not in the top ten. Right. So, uh, Jeff, which order do you want to go in in terms of, like, everyone's top ten? Or, like, the first pick? Okay. Let's and, and, by the way, are we going from ten to one? Yeah, we're going from ten can to I one. one? Can I start one? Yeah, let's yeah, go. She go. Let's go. That's on Netflix. I know what everybody thinking I'm going to go with that's, that's very popular on Netflix and a thing like and stuff like that. But I'm going to start Sheik's. List with <laughs> Tropic Thunder, baby. Tropic Thunder. Yo, I don't think no one was mad when he did blackface. <laughs> I don't think no, yo, yo, I'm fuck. He, join this one. You mad or not at hell all? Hell no. <laughs> it was great. He had every right in the world to it do blackface. It was great. That was the greatest. And I'm, you know me. I'm the most political. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Right fist person you might meet, mate, might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, he needed an Oscar. That movie. Ooh, you whip up that cornbread. Yeah. You do this and that. This, this, this. I sick. said, oh, shit. Wait, he said, can what we, do you mean, you people? Wait, can we, can we get offended by it? No, you can't. No, no you can't at all. Nobody can. I, I don't it, think. I mean, oh, I don't know, guys. We're white liberals. We can we can get mad <laughs> really? at anything. Oh, anything, man. yeah. Nah, he um he the black racist standing up for him for that one, so you can't. <laughs> What's my man? What's my man? Um, Matthew Jack Black? McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, he was in that. Hilarious. And Tom Wait, say his name again. As the fat huh? fucking say, say his name again. Tom, you heard me. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. <laughs> Matthew Tom, McConaughey. Tom Cruise, the fat executive at the end. Yep. Right? Yep. Dancing yep. and all yeah. that. He was, he Jack was Black? Yeah, that was Jack yeah. Black. I think Jack, Jack Black. Black. Jack Black. Yeah, yeah. yo, Black. as the that fucking cokehead. That's, that's, that's he needed, yo. Actually, can we give that movie, can we give Tropic Thunder, the two Jews and two black dudes, Stamp of approval. Stamp of approval. <laughs> Oscar. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oscar. Four thumbs up. Social media Oscar. Yo, word up. we're us. talking like rewatchability. You can watch that over and over again. Every yeah. as many times as a song. Whenever it's <laughs> on, is watch it. it. <laughs> you smoke weed, even better. If if you guys bought legal DVDs, you would actually buy a copy of that. Definitely. No, I, own, I own legal copies of Tropic Thunder. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That Multiple. shit. Come on, we get excited. Like, oh, so <laughs> Multiple. Yeah. Yes. That's, play that's that legendary. shit. Legendary. Yeah. Legend. All right, style. That's one of the joints. I'm up. Yeah. All right. I picked one. And this is this is my number 10 one right now. And I picked this because I want to know what you guys think of this. This is something I saw in the theaters. This is something that is new to Netflix. And it has a certain rewatchability. It has inspiration. And obviously, it gives you a little something into the business. But I want to know what you guys, as professionals, think of this movie that is now on Netflix. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> Eight Mile. Eight Mile. I didn't watch it yet. Never what? seen it. No, I've seen the movie Eight Mile. Yes, I yeah. right. watched the series on Netflix. No, 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 it's no, no, it's not a series. It's yeah, actually series? just the movie. The movie is now available on Netflix. Oh, I love Eight Mile. Yeah, I just want to know, like, All right, where do we eight stand? Mile? Where yeah. the movie with Eminem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great movie. Eight Mile, eight mile great was movie. incredible, man. Eight um, Mile was um, dope. But you guys are professionals. I feel like you look at it like seeing it sort of as something where it's like, oh, I know. Yeah. It was, a, you know, Eight Mile was was extra dope, showing like where he came from and all that. But not to get too saucy with it, like. The battle rap era of his thing was a little different than ours. Right. Well, Way different. Yeah, they right. kind of have like a yeah. concert thing going, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Ours was more or less, when we came up, it was, you were standing right there and it was just like a circle outside of Harlem. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. different times, I guess. Right, yeah. But um, You didn't um, have a DJ with no, you. No, 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 no DJ. <laughs> no. no DJ. Yeah. Maybe somebody banging on the, on the, on the top of the car or a desk or whatever. Yeah. Or this may, most times it's acapella, right? Acapella. Yeah. Or if, if you got a nice um drug dealer with a nice car scene with might a system. Might pull up with a beat yeah. tape. Might pull up with a beat tape, yeah. pop the beat tape in. <laughs> Yeah, or acapella, or somebody banging. Did on the you guys ever throw mailbox? up your mom's spaghetti? <laughs> huh? Throwing <laughs> up your mom's spaghetti and watching them eat it? Oh um, no, nah, I don't think so, man. Never throwing up on my mom's spaghetti. Ever. Nah, yo, uh, um, Eight Mile 
um, was a dope fucking it movie, was dope. man. It's it was a legendary dope. movie. It was super dope. It was dope. Yeah. I loved it because how they shot how he d- was feeling or his motion before every battle. Yep. I think that was real honest and real, but, you know, real MC shit to show the mind frame you, you in or you thinking about how you're looking at your opponent, how you think about yourself, your life, what's going on with you. I think the average person doesn't understand all of that. And also you Eminem as an around. actor... Pretty good, yeah, great, pretty great, right? Did a great yeah, fucking job. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. also acting like himself. No, that, that so, is true. Well, yeah, knows the story. You kind of, you kind of no, believe that. Everybody wanted oh, oh, yeah. character. Yeah, everybody wanted to nail it like that. Yeah, and and, and, and you know, and then credit and, for that. and even showing like coming from like a lot of these rappers and us young guys growing up wanting to be rappers to make it out certain situations, man. Up, homie that shot himself or anybody else that could have got shot, like he made it out of certain situations, which was great, and that's the realistic. Shit of a lot of us trying to get on. It's either when homie said like, "Yo, it's either you got a dope jump shot or like it's that's real deal kind of spill for us." Yeah, you know what I mean. It ain't like we immediately going to work for fucking the Apple company. Nah, man, it's we not a rap play ball, and you know we got other skills and shit. But yo, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So definitely, Eight Mile is is yeah something we can watch on yeah, Netflix. Doesn't definitely. doesn't get the two Jews, two black dudes <laughs> stamp of approval, stamp approval though. Oscar. But yeah, yeah Oscar, Oscar. Approval, it gets. Oscar media, uh, social media, Oscar. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, that shit. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't get the Tropic Thunder one. It gets the no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Tropic oh, one. Wait, are we the Tropic make... Thunder caught the two Jews, two black dudes, Stamp social approval. media. Yeah. What if we Stamp need one? We approval. need one. Oscar. What's the one where it's cool? The two Jews, they they bigging it up. But what's ours? Like our okay one. <laughs> We gonna get to that. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, every, this is gonna every, be a great. This is gonna be great, baby. Stay tuned. Everything gets an award. It's like a participation trophy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Styles, you're up. Um, what number can I start with? Should I go with a one or a ten? I think we're starting at ten. Luke also, by the way, one. you know what? I think me and E, I think we're gonna do the ten. And, yeah. And Lucha <laughs> J, you gotta you gotta start at the one. Okay. Too. My number ten is not exactly ten on my list, but it's ten on my list. I okay. Was high when I did number my one list. in your heart, <laughs> right? It, it, I love it. American Vandal. American Yo, Vandal. Yo, that's not my thing. American Vandal. Yeah. I thought American Vandal was fucking epic. I, I love the way they shot it. You knew going in that it was not a real thing, right? I knew it wasn't a real thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. And did I you knew watch- it wasn't a real thing, but I felt like that was a real thing. Right, yeah. right. Did you watch Making a Murderer? No, I didn't. Oh. Really? No. Because that adds a whole other layer to it. I've like, heard that. Yeah. Making of a Murderer. Yeah. I heard it was incredible. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. I'm going to start that That soon. is still available on Netflix. And that is I'm a real st- thing. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. I'm going to start that. But American Vandal, for me, it was just epic. The way they shot it. Um, the honorary white person in me <laughs> just loved the whole <laughs> the whole setup <laughs> and the theme of the whole fucking show. Yeah, Sheik, do you know what this is or no? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for, I know what Making a Murderer is. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. What, what, um, nah. <laughs> Ameri- Go ahead, Jay. Yeah. All right, so basically, it's a uh, it's a who done it, mm. but it's in a, it's set in a high school, mm. and it's who sprayed a ton of spray paint dicks all over the teachers' cars. Okay, and then also there's like a whole bunch of other things that come out of that, mm. including like a girl getting um, like fingered yeah. at like camp and stuff. Like there's yeah. just like a bunch of like shit a whole like that. bunch of shit comes out of one. I'm trying to knock one case. Is that shit like crash? It nah, is, it's, it's funny. Like, it's like funny. Like, I mean, like, wait, all I don't, leads up to like yeah. one thing. Or, I mean, if you know, um, if you're from the ghetto and you don't have and not in touch with your inner white person, <laughs> you may not get it. Like, gotta be in touch with your inner white person. But it's like a who done it. It shot well. It's I think funny. It's, it's funny. It's young. It's futuristic. Yeah. It's smart. It's witty. I, I mean, it's dope. For me, it's dope. Yo, so, I, I want to know what you guys. Was there a senior prank that you guys pulled in high school? Nah, you, uh, like where we went, it wasn't none of that shit. You fuck around, get nah, yeah. nah, hell. Nah. I have one scene. I'm not gonna say his name. A friend of mine sweeped the foot of another chick, and she hit her head on a water fountain. Oh and, fuck! Uh, and, and, <laughs> and she could have been dead, and everybody. I that ran. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he remember. Hell yeah, yo, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's some lean on me prank. shit. Yeah. Like this is <laughs> that was was that a prank or this, I know, this yeah. <laughs> I do remember that, was, man. At the time, sweeping people's feet was a prank. Like, was, you run up on somebody, you sweep their feet with your feet. How did she do after that? Y'all ran. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is this friend sitting right here? <laughs> oh, he, he didn't do it. He was there, though. 
Kiss was there. Yo. I was there. Yo. No, I was I was talking more about like, was, you know. Yeah, I know I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like fucking vice principal type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this yeah, this no, was remember, not that. I remember, yeah. <laughs> Boop. And Shorty. Yeah. yeah. Oh and my god. Water fountain. Yo. <laughs> she was out. Follow that up, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Um Did y'all did you guys have Yeah. Um, I feel like they let loose like animals like within like the high school, like for mine. See, see, I had money. No, but <laughs> we, it would have been pit bulls and shit in our hallways and shit. No, like, it would have been like pit rock bull, the rapper. Shit, out. Yeah. That'd be a good. <laughs> the, the, you know what That'd be a great prank. Dale. Yeah, um, all right, <laughs> my number ten. Uh, now you got to go to one, Jay. Oh, fuck. I don't my, have mine. Number, I'm just telling yeah, you now. Mine, mine is yeah. numbered, but I'm gonna <laughs> be like, all right, numbers don't matter. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm going to go with Trading Places. Yo, Whoa. I was going to go with Trading Places. Thank you so, baby. What the fuck High five, baby. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> Jeff wins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he won with that. Damn, I swear to God, I got that on my list, too. Y'all ain't got jacuzzi me. on this video on Netflix shit, man. Damn. Knew y'all was... Trading Places is crazy. He said, I'm a karate man. Karate man bleeding the inside. We Actually, we did watch Trading Places on the... That's Hell something yeah. we, on the bus? That's yeah. something we, we just recently Definitely. watched Yo. on the bus. Like, Kid say I'm Billy Ray Valentine, <laughs> Capricorn. That's what you said Traded what sign Places you was. On a, um, <laughs> Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. We watched Capricorn. The, um, Traded Places on a tour we did with Conway, Conway and West Side Guns Yo. recently, actually. Talk about a legendary movie. Oh, legendary. Like, yeah. Yo, Outstanding. They, they don't make comedians like they made back uh -uh. then. Like, Not at all. He said oh, butter, man. <laughs> peanut butter, like you're making a peanut butter and jelly, and then he looked at the screen. Yo, he, yo, he's crazy. Oh, man, I love it. Larry's. Yo. That. Jack Roy, said, yeah. Yeah. Curtis, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Get with my bitches. Fucking love Eddie Murphy for that shit. Do you guys rock with anything Eddie Murphy? A lot, a lot of the a shit. Lot, a lot, Shrek, and a not lot. just raw Shrek as donkey. Shrek was dope. Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. See, yeah. Yeah. Nutty so, Buffet is incredible. Get into this shit yeah, yeah. Shrek. Donkey was one of the funniest. She said, "You Ever. cut me, you cut me deep, Shrek. <laughs> Shrek, you cut me." Yo, he was singing and shit. Eddie Murphy, you killed that shit. Every fucking Shrek. Yeah, Shrek was incredible. Period. Even when he got the dinosaur girlfriend. Yo, outstanding. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like Pluto Nash. I didn't nah. like that shit. You saw it at all? Did not like I, it. I, I kinda, he lost me with the last one of the last Beverly Hills Cops. Three. And it was in Disney World. It and was all that three. Shit. Yeah. It was I didn't three. Like it. Nobody likes Beverly Hills Cops. Real. Three. Nobody. So it doesn't Nobody. get the two like, Jews, two black. Like Beverly Hills Cops. Hold three. On. I got an Eddie Murphy fuck one no. that you guys might not like. I Spy with Owen Wilson. You fuck with it. Hell yeah. That was dope. I never Oscar saw it. was dope. Never saw it. No yeah. Oscar word for nothing, but it was dope. No, 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 no. Not Oscar worthy. Six not point. Oscar it's a six, six and three uh, fourths. That shit was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strong seven. Mm -hmm. Yo, because this is not like HBO recommendations, it's not like it's already on the TV. This is something where you have to go and watch it. You would go and press play on Netflix. I would, um, no. <laughs> no, no, maybe not. Not Oscar. I would, not. No, maybe not. Maybe not. No. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. But sometimes you got to sometimes go off to the... Off the collaboration of the actors, that is Eddie Murphy Definitely. and Owen Wilson. Yeah, yeah Sometimes true. you have to look at who the actors are, mm -hmm. what's their catalog, right? How good are they? Well, how it's the great same thing are with they? Rappers. And then you know that's a collaboration you want to see. It's like it's beautiful. But Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy anything together. Oh, I thought you were gonna say anything but trouble. Oh, is that on oh. there? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Be, should don't know. be. Yes, it should. Yes. Yo. <laughs> Yes. I, I don't know if this is on there. I just want to throw out a little wild card talking about like Dan Aykroyd, Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. Dope. Yeah. Outstanding. Amazing. And by the way, that Come is on, on there. It is on there? Yeah, it is on all Netflix. Right. Well, I'm, all right, Sheik, you're up. All right, well, let me see. I got one. I got one that um, it's not as fun. Wait, I can't keep it comical. Hold on. Yeah, no, you are a, whatever you, you are want. a, a right, complicated well, well, person. I mean, let's go. A water boy for me. Water boy, Adam water boy. Sandler. Adam right. Sandler. So not a comedy. <laughs> no, it says I am going to go back to comedy. It is. I was. I was. I am going to go back to comedy. Water boy to me is a classic that I would throw on anytime, no matter how. If you're feeling bad, you could put that shit on. It's just. And outstanding man That kid came to him And said Let it play Now the day <laughs> the, the dude The dude that you couldn't understand What he was saying I, It was me G the barber Busy And somebody else We went to fucking Cross County movie theater And watched that shit For the first time In the movies Yo Incredible man <laughs> I, I, I had my gun on me I was watching Waterboy With my gun on me And shit <laughs> And that shit Don't know why Didn't even have beef I had my gun on me watching Waterboy laughing my ass off and shit. Real spill. That's almost like an eight mile situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have shot yeah, yourself. Shoot myself in the leg. Cheddar Bob. Yeah, uh, no Cheddar Bob here. Waterboy, Adam's all. See me, sorry, here we go. A lot of Adam Sandler movies to me was incredible. I mean, from fucking. I, even to. Y'all might right now say he's bugging. Little Nicky. 
Come on, man. Um, Happy Gilmore. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Go ahead. Come on, man. I'm gonna be real vulnerable Fucking. in this room. <laughs> Adam Sandler lost me after what? Maybe Big Daddy. Don't mess with I... Zoan. No. no. What? No. no. You kidding me? That does not Absolutely get the Jew approval right yeah. now. <laughs> Zoan was Zohan incredible, guys, man. Did not. No. Guys. What? Wait. You got the... you got Zohan on, on on repeat. Zohan is on repeat for me. <laughs> for real, Zohan is on repeat. <laughs> what? Wait, what is that? That one he can, he like wishes no, things he's to a, life or nah, something? No, don't, don't mess with his Zohan. He's a uh, he's like an ex-military dude. He's a hitman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he he's wants to hear him. He's He's really, yeah. yeah. He's really, yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Zohan is cracked. <laughs> Yo, I wonder, fucking, come on, come on, Grown Ups. Grown Ups was fucking funny. I didn't, I didn't watch Grown Ups. You didn't watch Grown Ups? No. So you didn't see it? Yo, I guarantee you. Yeah. We and I, I wonder if we're going to be friends at the end of this. Grown Ups is fucking funny as fuck. <laughs> and the cast, yeah. see, you know what I like about Adam Sandler, Styles? He keeps a whole crew of the same people with him. Yeah, yeah. Spade. Spade. Uh, and these guys are fucking hilarious, man. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider, right. Come right. on. Um, Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Right, right. It's, it's, come on. Grown Ups 1 and 2 was great to me. Uh, Which one's Kevin better? James, one. all them. Okay. Number do you is... do you fuck with like when Adam Sandler goes like super serious? No, nah, I don't. Okay, so Punch Drunk Love is. I out. just said that about what's no. I never. I ain't watched that. I just seen it on there. I ain't watched Punch Drunk. Look, when motherfucking when comedies are dead serious, I hate that shit. Really, I hate good times when it gets too serious. <laughs> I hate what's happening when they start right. talking about. A very, you, the, the, I hate serious. You, want you don't like. You I want to escape. Thank you. If that's the, if that's some, if that's real. Yeah, you just want to like check. I want to laugh at it, Styles. I don't want to. You don't a want a very special episode. <laughs> you know, like yo, like yo, when Penny got burnt and shit. Yo, when Penny got burnt, I was like, yo, man, this shit's deep. <laughs> I ain't had a feel about watching his comedy and shit. Like, you know what I mean? When Penny got burnt on good time. Like, yeah. Arnold got, like, um, got caught stealing or something. Right. You're not about that. Yeah. Nah, I ain't with that shit, man. So that's how I felt with, with, with serious comedies and shit. Eric, you're up. I'm up next. All right. So I'm going to go with... Wait, I want Styles to finish up his order for hummus and falafel. All right, cool. You took trading places. That was a, that was a good one. Yeah. No, I'm all right. Thank you, though. Um. All right. I'm a. I'm a throw. I'm a. I'm a start off with one. It's gonna lead into another for my next pick, and I'm gonna guess you have not seen this yet. But it's called Jim and Andy, right? I gotta see that. This oh, see that. is yeah. remarkable. It's a documentary about Jim Carrey as Andy, Andy Kaufman. Kaufman. Do you remember when he Andy did Man on the Moon, right? Yeah. But Wait, what? No, he, no, Andy, what Andy Kaufman. Oh, the yeah. Guy. He was the comedian, yeah, 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 yeah. and then he he wrestled, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but the documentary, so here, here's what it is. When Jim Carrey went and did the movie, he became, yo, like, like a million percent, right? And they had behind the scenes videos. So from 20 years ago, of that whole process, he was he was filmed on like mini DV tapes or whatever. And so Netflix put together this. This documentary talking to him now about then and you see him in that world in that like like wow. state of mind which is crazy and like right. so he like he really does um he meets andy's family and like he's, but andy. he's in character and so like you know the entire family is basically like like living out a a therapeutic role play because remember with, andy died right, so this right. is the, like sort of like reincarnation of him right, right in yeah. front of them Looking like that, he and remember, like Andy Kaufman had like another character, Tony Clifton, and so he like contorted his body. You, wow. you know how Jim Carrey is, Jim Carrey right? Goes yeah. all the way in, the, he, all the way he becomes that that character. Yeah. He went you gotta to love him, man. Yeah, and they they played tricks on everyone. And Danny DeVito, who was there, who was also there on Taxi, like in yeah. New Andy and everything, was like taken by this. It's so wild to see like the commitment and how that affects his real life. Can we talk about Jim Carrey? Yes, we meaning, sure can. Meaning, like, like you like the segue, right? Yeah. yeah. Let me explain this, like, yo. I, I mean the Grinch. Let's talk about what. Who was he? The Riddler. Like his whole, his Five whole. Yo, yeah, Five Marsh- yeah, yeah, Wow, you taking it? Oh hell yeah, yeah. yeah! Classic shit there. In Living Color to Ace Ventura, which Ace is on my list. On, man, Pet Detectives. All Dumb that. and Dumber. Yeah, yeah. Man on the Moon. Uh, Truman Show. The Truman Show. Like following him around. He's unbelievable. I heard. I heard. I, I, is he really into the nature and stuff right now? I heard he like grew his stuff I out. Watched, oh, I, say, I, I think I he's all the way movie, but I watch a lot of um. I think he's all the way off the woods Netflix, now, bro. I watch yeah. a lot of YouTube clips on Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. Recent, they say he's off, like he's off, off the grid. Yeah. Off that. He's just dropping a lot of jewels and a lot of science really? about what's happening in Hollywood, what's happening with the Earth, what's happening with your phones. 
you being a zombie. I think he lives in the woods. And his beard Yo, is grown out. Styles is starting to sound like B.O.B., by the way. <laughs> I still so B.O.B. Yeah. Shout out to Bob. No, I'm just you know. saying what, yeah. I watch what I'm just saying what Jim Carrey doing. Yeah. So he is really out there like he's, that? With the, yo, yeah. He paints like giant canvases. and like Yeah. Yeah, he's really like yeah, he sort really of. some like. Yeah, he was the, the mask, man. Yeah. The Jim mask. Carrey until you throw your iPhone out. No, yeah, Jim. Get off Snapchat. You don't do face things. Jim Carrey's got it all like figured out. He's going to tell you that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's him and Jaden. That's right. All right, Styles, you're up. I'm going to go with... Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to go with... But definitely check that documentary out. It's a movie on Netflix. I thought it was dope. It's called What Happened to Monday. What is that about? I've yeah, never heard, never of, heard of that. It's about... um. It's kind of in the future where you can't have more than one kid. And somebody has... A dude, he has like seven twin girls. William Defoe is actually the father. Um, what's the chick's name? Numi Rapace, the like the lady with the dragon tattoo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's her. She's yeah, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, yeah her. Pardon me, girl with the dragon yeah. tattoo. And basically, um, she's one out of um, like seven kids, and then the kids keep going missing. Oh. And they got to find out, but one, they playing one. All the seven kids are playing one person because you can't have more than one kid. Yo. Whoa. So then, some happens to Monday. So all the other sisters is like, what happened to Monday? She ain't coming. Oh, the oh their names. names. Yeah, so oh. they all, each one only goes out on a name, on the day of the name. Yo. So one on, they only go out on Monday. Tuesday only goes out on Tuesday. This is a Wednesday. series or a movie? No, nah, it's a movie on Netflix. This what happened wild. to Monday is real good. It's real, real good. I think that's a, a epic film. It's kind of, you know, futuristic. Do you need an edible to understand it? <laughs> no, you don't. You know, but it'll help. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll help. Uh, if you, See, there's if a you deeper understanding. A Jim Carrey But Glenn Close is in it, William Dafoe. And um, and you really fuck with it. Me repace. That's dope. Yeah, it's really, really, it's really, really dope. I'm gonna check that out. I think yeah. you should watch it. Just... Jeff, um, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna say the Office, the British version. <laughs> oh, I wanna yeah. watch that, man. I'm gonna be honest. You saw? Do you know about the British version? Nah, I, I seen a, I seen a <laughs> clipping of it. It <laughs> looked pretty funny. Yeah, I fuck with the, I fuck with the American version way right. more than the, than the. Right. Well, I mean, okay. Version. I feel like everybody watches the American version. You're trying to give something different. I'm, I'm just trying to enlighten people. I'm saying that the what British you, what, version. What do you like about the British, <laughs> the British version? I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a very dry, yeah, super definitely. like it's, it's so, so funny. Um, but it's and it is like what everything the the U.S. version came off of. Um, but there's an awkwardness that's so funny. Um, it's just a little bit darker, a little bit meaner. So I really like that. Um, I will say that. How many seasons did they do? They did two series. Oh, okay. Yeah, they called series over there. Okay. I'm very cosmopolitan. <laughs> yeah, look, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> International Jeff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, what did you guys watch when you guys would go over to to like London and and overseas? Um, BBC. And National Geographic, and then mm -hmm. video music videos. They they have National like a music Geographic video station on repeat. <laughs> Same five Animals. videos that keep coming on all day. Yeah. And then and then when you over there and shit. In the UK or wherever else, in Australia, Budapest, wherever the fuck you at and shit like... Your TV's little. Yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> they had these blooper shows that come on. You know the yeah. blooper shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it's, you know, them shits that come on all day long. I just CNN keep on that too. channel. Yeah. CNN. And CNN's and the easy choice. Yeah. CNN, BCC, for me. In Australia for two and months, right? National month Geographic. They play nothing but Dukes of Hazzards <laughs> and all kind of old school shows. Man, on I TV. Like, on TV, yo. Is that you a know, little bit weird to watch American TV over there? I was loving it. <laughs> I was sure. loving it. But um, I don't know. But, but I know they had that shit on. Fucking everything. And I'm a Price is Right fan and Family Feud and fucking uh, Let's are, Make a Deal kind of guy. Are you the guy? Okay. I wish those was on. Yo, hold on. Okay. We Somebody, need the locks on like Family come Feud. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. You might want to pick me. Yo. Wow. You, know, you might want to pick me if we did the yeah. shit. You listen, I mean? listen. Up, Yo, Jadik has just walked in like we were all like cheating on him or something. <laughs> He's like, what's going on here? Yo, Jada, do you understand this is... Yo, yo, they're in the back of the podcast with two Jews. <laughs> yeah. You heard it first, baby. Two yeah. black, two Jews. Yeah, this is two black, yeah, two baby. Jews review movies. <laughs> yo, do you have any Netflix recommendations? Late, I'm a late bloomer. Netflix. I usually P and Luch tell me all the stuff to look at, the good things to check out. I'm just really getting over um first season of Narcos. Oh. Oh, because you're hanging out with that. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I just, you know, those are the experts, and then they put me up on the they put me up on the films to check out or you know series or 
documentaries or whatever it is. Yo, we ran into Fab one time, and he was like, he only wants to talk about Narcos. Like, that's all he wants. To. There was a point where we were going to have him on the podcast only to talk about Narcos. So did you, did you like Narcos season one? Yeah, it was dope. Are you with it to go for the other seasons? I mean, he said the Cali Cartel one was right, so I think I'm going to check that out, too. Yeah. <laughs> they lost me on that one. On they a lost, Cali you one. see? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the Cali. I, didn't love I it. liked it, too. I love the Cali. I watched some I of it. it I got towards the end. Knuckles was on my list. Yeah, it's on mine, too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody got, like, some obvious Knuckles ones. Knuckles is definitely on my <laughs> list. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Towards the, towards the like, after after he got, like, put in jail and shit, and he was giving orders, and then the sons took over, I kind of was, like, not interested no more. But based off it. true life, though. I get it. Yeah, I get that. I get it. I, I like this. The, I like you the know. progression. Around when he, around when um he got like put in jail and shit. The, you the, ain't the seen the second dude. season, so I you did. don't know what yeah, he no, did. No, he didn't see the second oh, season. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. I'm yeah, spoiler alert. yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, but um, it's still good. It's this. It's this. It's this. It's a, a progress. I like it because it's, it's the progression of drugs. It's a lot of characters right, in right. season two. Like the progression Before, is it was based off Pablo. Would you agree on that? Yes. Yeah, but Pablo was that. Yeah, so but the Cali with them dudes too. They just wasn't them dudes because Pablo was that dude, and yeah, also they, they, they was the quiet. Dude, they, they, they was the they, quiet they, dudes, and they was do, they was making smart moves when Pablo got hot, and they was running around, they did a lot and of then they did a lot of. Yeah. Oh yeah, and she was right. Of course, I loved of course. it. Yeah, and also you like just for the story's sake, you don't want to just like end with Pablo and that. Nah, not it. at all. Like, you want to like you know. I like it because it's going to um, see it through. Where it's going next. I did. I ain't gonna blow it. I wanted to end with Pablo. That's it. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I did. I ain't gonna lie. I did. Nah. I, did. I know shit happened nah. in, in our government and all that since then. But kind of, he was the interesting part of it. Nah, nah. Yeah, he was. I mean, he's the. I mean, he's the head of the shit. So he's definitely the most interesting part. But it's like saying. After rock him, you don't want to hear nothing no more. <laughs> no, no, like, no, 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 no. No, you can't say that. You can't say that. It's oh. almost like that. Like. <laughs> you know, you know what? I guess what I'm saying it was like I had to follow the brother, the the, the other brother, the brother, the this. That, you know, what I like about that. the Cali Cartel. A lot of, you'll see but they like broke it down. You know what made it smart though? Because they showed you with the Cali how it was ran, how they was running it, and then how. A couple of them niggas still wanted to live how Pablo did it, like, mm -hmm. and some mm -hmm. niggas wanted to step up. Some niggas want to be like, go back to cowboy yeah. style. like Yeah. And by the way, the truth of the matter is, it's not just always going to be like one federal agent like chasing after of all of them. Like, you got to move like in that different direction. Of so course. I think we all love narcos in here. Right. It's like when yeah, Full House like... added a dog. <laughs> where, 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 who are we going to, Jeff? Uh, Sheik, you're up. Well, all right. So here it is, fellas. <laughs> I, I got, I got, you know, you know me. I, I'm all over the place with my <laughs> shit. One shit on Netflix that I got to say is, and this is of personal experience, but I come in the house every fucking day and Family Guy is on. And what I love about Family Guy, you know, Peter Griffin and, and, and the whole thing about it. Yep. I'm saying to my son, what the fuck happened to Jimmy <laughs> Neutron and other shit? I love the, the, you okay with the racism in Family Guy? Yo. Holy shit. I look forward for him to say some <laughs> crazy shit. This is like the one time when the black guy came in the office and did this and that. And then they'll show the black guy. Like pulling his dick out yeah. Like some crazy shit I'm like wow Wait <laughs> do, Is this something that you guys Can watch like together though Yeah Yeah I sit there and say Dad nah dad Don't go upstairs Watch this other You gotta see what's about to happen <laughs> And family guy to me He's a genius For, for, for his comedic humor To me I'm cool with all that wittiness Very he sharp He made it work v yeah, yeah yeah Very sharp very sharp, easy. Did you grow up with Simpsons? Were you like on board I, with that? Yeah, I was on the Simpsons for a little while. Yeah, for a South little Park? while, but not not too much. South Park, South Park, legendary. Wait, South, South Park, Park is amazing. Was on the edge of the the um the uh that wittiness and that that cleverness. Yeah, watch the South Park episode. Nah, with South Park. I think they found I only the think Family tape, Guy if would have made it if it wasn't for South Park. Right, I agree. Family Guy wouldn't have made it because okay. South. Yeah. South Park, South Park, um, they pushed it. They pushed Holy the ticket shit. all the and way. And for like a long time. All the way for a very, very... I mean, no, I mean, it's still on. It's just... Because even with, with um, from South Park, the family guy, what's crazy is um, with both of them, and that's crazy because they got a long run. From When my kid was little, mm -hmm. like family guy, like I knew what South Park was because I used to watch it. You know what I mean? The yeah. family guy, my kids used to watch it, but I didn't know what was happening. Oh, then I sat there and watched it one day. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Are they watching? And then I was seeing the movie. I, you ever seen the movie? 
Yeah, yeah, of course. I went and seen a movie course, at yeah. the movie theater. I was like, what the fuck? Did yeah. you have a gun on you when you went to the movie theater? Or is it just a chic thing? <laughs> nah, I'm, no, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Not for the family guy. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. You're not going to put that on me. I've seen today, the Simpsons okay? movie. I've seen all that shit. Simpsons, Simpsons is very family oriented. Like, you know what I mean? Right. The Simpsons fucking crazy family too. guy gave fucking Cleveland Simpsons the black dude Trump from will win. The black dude from the family guy gave him a show. Simpsons Man. predicted Trump would be the president. Yeah. They predict a lot of shit. Boom. Yo, it's on some Jim Carrey mm. shit. Like, boom. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, mad, mad, mad. Yeah, a lot of shit. All right, all right, Eric, you're up. All right. You know, after we talked about Jim Carrey before, we got to talk about Ace Ventura because, like, classic, classic. classic. Yeah, classic. I have that. I have that yeah. on my list, brother. Was that ninety four? I have it on my right? list. Yeah, ninety four. Yo, classic. great movie. Guano. The, yo, <laughs> yo, now you know what I'm talking about. Ace, Guano. Ace Ventura two, two not yeah. great. It's it's on Netflix. No, 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 no. You think it's great? You love when he I'm comes out of like the rhinoceros. <laughs> I'm gonna go with very good. Very good, not great. Because it wasn't a whack. Like the second one, you like you can't usually watch the second right, one. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You got to watch that. Right. Yo. You got to watch. You got to watch part two also. One of my parts, he knocked out that skinny nigga and said, <laughs> the, "The Monopoly man." He said, "Do not pass go." <laughs> like, like forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yo I think the, those are both legendary Yeah yeah. Yo. First one great Second one very good First one amazing First one amazing Second one whack Damn Marino wasn't whack. Like, It was whack It wasn't whack <laughs> It wasn't whack It was not whack His body movement alone Makes it not Unbelievable not, Like the way he just when moves getting, his body And yo, all and that When he's getting ahead from the girl Like as pain Crazy. And just like hanging on that Yeah Yeah Unbelievable movie Ace Ventura Going with that Styles Styles We on me Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with a. I'm like, I got Stranger Things on here. Okay, which one? Both. Both. Okay, it's the same both. show. I gotta be I honest. Yeah. Both. Eric I haven't, I haven't seen, it. seen it. Okay, I seen it. What? Yeah, I, I did. did. I gave it. Cool. I, I gave it a you little. See part two too. Season no, 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 two. No, no, yeah, no, season two no. is cool. I um. You seen one and two? Yeah. I, okay. Right. So my problem with Stranger Things, and you can talk about like why you love it. Okay. I like Stranger Things a lot for the first six to seven episodes every year. Okay. And then it gets whacked to me. Mm. I'm just like they do too much. Like they, they did the the punk episode this year. True, true, true. Um, but I'm like, I think that it's amazing. Like it's it's so well done, and you Very. keep watching it. Very, I love it because it's it's. I, I haven't seen anyone capture the '80s right in such a true form in any show mm-hmm. ever, any genre of. of it's anybody. not on what's the name? Now nah, don't say that. It's not on Netflix, right? But this is why we doing this show. <laughs> Everybody hates Chris. Captured the fucking essence of the '80s. Big time. Hell yeah. You ever hear the soundtrack of it and the true, music that true. comes you're right on, on that. You're right. You're right on that. Right? You're right on that. And what we told you about know the I'm, funniest I'm, mom, she might be one of the other mm. funniest moms in history. You know what I'm thinking though? You're right on that. <laughs> but that's black people stuff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but they captured I'm going, it. Yeah, they definitely it. captured it. The energy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with like I'm saying like the MTV, like the MTV era, as far as the coats. Far as how the kids look, far as how they cast them, far as just the whole shit is just give you that whole like you buy into it. I buy into the yeah. '80s vibe and and even the, even the alien shit of it. Mm-hmm. The kids give me real like, you know, the kids give me that ET Goonies. Yeah, Spielberg. Well, that's like, how I felt when I seen the movie. All it. That vibe. When I seen the movie, that it, I got that so vibe wide. From it. Yeah, it's like the kids. The kids are really dope. I think. Yeah. It's, I think it's. You hard didn't think it. You seen the movie? It. It? I ain't see it yet. I ain't when see it. When you see it, is, yeah. did you? No, no, no. no. You seen it? It's, it? The whole shit about it is, is he captured everything he just said all day long. Like that whole era of, of Goonies and Lost Boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so on like that, yeah. But you could get lost on the eighth episode of Strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I think it's a very, very well shot show. Yo, like. Very, very. Like, and it was so good the first time, and then the second time they like, they upped it. So that Definitely. was cool. Yeah. I like you know what it is. It's hard to add characters and make it interesting, and they added someone else young. Yeah, you know what hurt me though? Spoiler alert! Yeah, <laughs> real spoiler alert. An actual spoiler alert. Yeah, I have to say this. Yeah, if you didn't see it. Just give yourself thirty seconds to right. come back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bob, man. Yeah, Bob didn't hurt you. Bob. I almost cried. <laughs> I almost fucking cried, dog. I had to man up and roll up off of Bob. I was like, Bob, Bob. was the coolest fat white guy, cheerful. <laughs> I, I, I wish I knew Bob. Oh, you're saying past tense. So I feel he's, like we all know about. He's a rap. Eric, I don't want to dive too deep into <laughs> yeah, this. We're gonna leave that alone. This is it. <laughs> but Bob is gone. Uh, Bob's gone. Yeah, Bob is not coming back. All right, I'm gonna go with. 
I'm going to go with a weird choice. All right. All right. There's a documentary called The Wolf Pack. Oh. Yeah, which is on Netflix, which is Yo, this is this a crazy, is a crazy movie. story. I've seen it. So, The Wolf Pack is it's a family of like what was it? Like four kids, five kids? I think five, yeah. They all grew up on the Lower East Side. The parents wouldn't let them leave this massive apartment. They had like a whole floor and they weren't allowed to leave. And what they did crazy, was crazy. they would spend their time just watching movies and then acting out the movies and filming it. So it's sort of like be kind rewindish a little bit. Right. But yeah. like But real life. I saw that. Yeah. I saw yeah. that. that like they was recreate, Ill. they made these sets, they made these costumes. Again, In they the attic? they can't yeah. leave the apartment on no, the Lower East Side. Their parents won't let them because, like, they're a little cultish, like, weird like that. Yeah. Okay, so. Great choice. They, yeah. Sort of, Thank you. They, yeah. they all grow their hair long. They got, like, you know, weird facial hair. But, like, they put, they do Reservoir Dogs. They recreate everything. And they're all, like, in the suits. and. But it wasn't just, like, you know, Reservoir Dogs. I felt like, scared they, for them. Oh, it, for sure. I felt it, bad for them. For it's sure. a very sad story. It's a sad but, story. But here's the, here's the sad watching they it. They had to act out their challenge. No, they was having fun. Like. They couldn't leave a they couldn't leave a they crib. They made that for fun. So they was just re redoing shit on their own. Like now, and sometimes they would escape. Like they and you know they brought a camera or whatever and went to like Coney Island just to like experience like waves and see like other people or whatever. But they they didn't make friends. They didn't have any of that. Here's the wild and eventually in the end, yeah, they they turned out weirdly fine. Right. So like they would Eric and I would go to like Madison Square Park or different we places. We were at a bar downtown and like one of the kids just like walks in and they're like unmistakable. It's just like whole, yeah, yeah. Twice. Like they're out in the wild now. now like it's crazy. Now they're free. They're yeah. out in the wild. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's so, so what, what it's called the Wolf Pack. Yeah, you got to watch this. Got to saw that. This. That was that was dope. So yeah. Yeah, that's a good choice, Jeff. Still yeah. Look crazy, though. I mean, they still have long hair yeah. and they still have I mean like they they look like you know, you know how like kids who are homeschooled are like a little bit different because like they didn't have that socialization growing up. They're a little bit, you know, different, but they seem like they seem fine. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think ultimately they're going to be alright. We want to get them on the podcast. Let's get the wolf pack <laughs> on the podcast. Uh, uh, who's right. up, Sheik? Yeah, Sheik yeah, is up. Well, all right. well, well, one right here I'm gonna go to is because my brother told me to check this shit out. He knows I'm heavy into all uh, the X Men and all that kind of shit. It's got to be the Punisher. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I wasn't him. I, um, oh yeah. I sat home over over like the weekend that you told me to, and I binge watched that whole shit. Crazy. Outstanding. I love this motherfucker, man. Crazy. You, you know, that I, by yourself or with the family? I, 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 yeah. It's incredible. A, I loved it. Was in, is nuts on he he um he um he uh he's a lucky motherfucker from the, some of the shit he healed from. Crazy. You know what I mean? To not have no powers because he is down with the whole crew. Frank Castle. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Hard like a motherfucker. Yeah, he's actually, he's like a fucking, he's with the shield and all that shit, man. He's, he's, he's a, he's a Avenger type motherfucker. Yeah, Marvel type, right? He's with all these motherfuckers. He ain't punishes Dolo. No, he but might, yeah, no, he's a, he he's might a, help Daredevil. <laughs> I'm a, he's a mercenary. He's like a Daredevil. They killed his really. family. Yeah, they killed his family. And if you, he Yo, killed so everybody the Punisher? killed his family. The Punisher is outstanding as far as like, a, like. Uh, uh, how they put that, that whole series together on Netflix. Incredible. You know what I mean? And, and like even when it went off, it was like, yo, I feel weird not doing anything. Right? And when, yeah. if you're, not to spoil it, whoever's seen it, but he, he want, he, you could tell there's more shit to come. Mm. All right, Big well, here's the, here's the thing about uh, me and Eric. You didn't and see, hold on. Yeah, I got to yeah. ask you. Did you fucking see Punisher? What the fuck, okay. man? We don't really fuck with superhero movies at all. Nah, right. Not at yeah. all. What? <laughs> no, you got to start watching Marvel, though. What is, Shit has okay. content. I, I will promise you I will watch The Punisher. But no, I, you can't start at The Punisher. Where do I have to start? This is where we fuck up. <laughs> yeah. This is where we fuck up. No, we fucked up when we were kids. You know what, apparently. though? The Punisher, you can start with The Punisher because... You can start with the Punisher. Oh, thank God! Yeah, you can. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you can actually you don't have to follow anything. Yeah. Yeah. You could kind of start with the Punisher. Well, you're saying I have to go all the way into the Marvel universe mm -hmm. and like sometimes you got to dive in a little is, bit. His so story you can is kind of what you said. It. They killed his family. Mm -hmm. He was an undercover cop that got involved in some other shit. And um, yeah. so you could pick up from there. But it, he definitely, yeah. So well, he doesn't have like wait. superpowers. Wait. Nah, he, no. He, he, he would be a regular guy. He's regular. Watch it because he regular, but he ain't regular. Most of the like Batman. He flying around. Nah. Oh. Like, no, look, no, no, no. His equivalency no. would be to Batman or Iron Man. Neither one of them had yeah, powers he at all. Right. Shit yeah. up, yeah. But Batman is doing no Batman's a man yeah. with yeah, stuff. Eric, so Eric, so Iron so Man's so a man with stuff. A man with stuff. Yeah. Punisher, a, a, man with a mer uh, extra mercenary with will. 
in a in a in a in a in a in a inner in an incredible in a inner way to fucking inner way sensation yeah. from what happened to him. Yeah. And in a, in an incredible way to, to give he, he 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 pulled through a lot of shit, man, and he's supposed Definitely to be dead. Did. Yeah, Eric, I shut the fuck like up with that DC Universe shit. <laughs> Talking about yeah, Marvel right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. Well, I mean, you guys also... Okay, so Eric and I and uh, our other brother didn't watch Star Wars until... Where's the like, fucking other brother? You, wait, you've never you met him? You don't know Dan? Nah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm hiding him. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Dan has a real job. He wears a suit. He gets, you know, money. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but what's it called? So we never watched any of the Star Wars until, like, we had Just Blaze on the podcast with our friend Phil, and they explained to us about Star Wars. Because, like, what we, we, we had couldn't been missing, give a shit. Right? Yeah. And we so just, then we went Star over Wars to. Could really be the truth of life. I'm just going to say that real quick. Talk, talk about, about it. Alone. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. That's all you're going to give? Yeah, we'll Drop the mic. to the Jedi. <laughs> I am um Force. um but the like, other black brother I don't know nothing about Star Wars. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I, I maybe don't You ain't black. fuck with Star Wars, Luch? I ain't fuck with Star Wars and I don't like Hennessy. <laughs> Jada, do you watch Star Wars? <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. I never like Return of Jedi was cool. Her. Everybody's bugged out when they two things. You don't like Star Wars and they find out that I don't like Hennessy. I, you know I don't guy. fuck with Henny like, either. You, you don't like Henny. <laughs> A black person don't Imagine like him. I don't, I don't eat, like Star Wars. I don't eat chicken. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. Star Wars but is I get incredible. It. The video but game yeah. is incredible. They did Star a great Wars job. is incredible. <laughs> incredible. Incredible. The whole thing. The whole thing. Every the new I, I ones. Even the, the, the new I ones. The Rogue One. The new ones are just later. the old ones, but done Everything better. Everything about it. Yeah. Is science behind just the movie. You really are like B.O.B. <laughs> I'm not like B.O.B. I'm like D.O.B. You're picking, you picking that Planet of the Apes shit apart, yeah. right? You're picking that shit apart. Yo, nah, that, that was a slave was... movie. Yo, man, How, man, you got to fight B.O.B. on it. Yo, somebody got the, like, the black I like B.O.B. Like I ain't got to watch a lot of shit B.O.B. say. I don't agree with Yo, it Yo, Styles. I agree with a lot How of shit, How round though. do you think the Earth is? a lot of knowledge, huh? How Ooh. round do you think the Earth is? How round do I... I think it's pretty round. Okay. I'm just going with the... Me, personally... What's in your heart? It's round. Yeah. If you if you grab the um, shit and look at the stars and all the other planets, they round. What the fuck would make this one Agreed. flat out of nowhere? Right. Like we, didn't, we just the one flat planet, and it's a frisbee. You, else you look at it in the galaxy yeah. is round. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> what cool. about Star Wars? Not to drift off too far. What uh, that that you said was um, uh, the characters, yeah, the, the storyline, the Force. Mm-hmm. It gave you the schooling of good. Was and it any evil? racism in Star Wars? Uh, Most yes. likely, yeah, for, for sure. Slavery, I heard it was. It was yeah. racism. I swear, I heard it was slavery, yeah. mm-hmm. bigotry, yeah, sexism. Yep. Um, what do you call? They hitting fuck like animals? a thousand percent right now. <laughs> What's that? Animals. When you, um, <laughs> oh, bestiality. Bestiality. <laughs> yeah. A little lightly. Mm-hmm. All that shit was in Star Wars. Oh, by the way, uh, but we, that's what the key science to was. They had all of that, and then they telling you about the dark force. And the light force on the so low. Look for us go too far into this Look shit. for us all. I'm high, but yeah. ain't that high. Two but. black, two Jews are coming to Comic Con. <laughs> yeah, okay, just letting you know now. We'll be there. I'm going to be dressed up as the Punisher. I'll That's take right. a choose. You're going to be dressed as the Punisher? Yeah. A Waste of Time with It's the Reels 12 Days of Podcast is sponsored by our good friends at Def Jam, who have been dropping the best projects week in and week out for the holiday season. For all of you last minute Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Festivus shoppers, I have some ideas just for you. All right. Christmas shoppers know that it's snow season, so snow go and get that new Jeezy album called Pressure. It's a given that Jeezy bodies this project, and it's just as dope that every feature steps up to the plate as well, including Rick Ross, Trey Songs, 2 Chains, WizKid, Tory Lanez, and of course, J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar on my favorite track, American Dream. Pressure is available to stream on every platform, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, Tidal, Google Play, and the rest. And you should go to GZShop.com to grab that Jeezy merch and get ready for the cold summer tour with T. Grizzly. Kwanzaa shoppers, now is the time to go get that new Jadakiss and Fabulous album, Friday on Elm Street, which is available everywhere right now. Go support real New York rap, which is all over this entire project, from the Swiss Beats production to the legendary Ted Smooth intro track. Hanukkah shoppers, there's a few days left, or maybe you're like our family and make it one big celebration of Hanukkah on December 25th. No judgment either way. Go get a copy of Jhene Aiko's Trip right now on vinyl for the one that you love. Surprise your true love with Jhene's fantastic project, which features the tracks Sativa and When We Were Young. And... 
Festivus shoppers. Now is the time to break out the aluminum pole, air your grievances, and get a copy of Jesse Boykin's The Third's new album, Bartholomew, which is available everywhere right now. Jesse is a genius and has a number of dope features alongside him, including Sid, Bridget Kelly, and Melanie Fiona. So stuff those stockings the right way, the Def Jam way, or don't, and go the hell away. I'm up now, Jeff? Uh, yeah, you're up. All right, I'm going to give you guys a little, like, curveball here. This might be, like, the whitest pick right here. Do you guys know who John Mulaney is? Ooh, no. okay. John Mulaney used to be a writer on Saturday Night Live. I know who he is. He had a show on Fox for one season called Mulaney. It got canceled. And he's part of, like, him and Nick Kroll. Do you guys know Kroll Show from um, uh, Comedy Central? Well, they teamed up together. They're, they're like, best friends. And they had a, a show on Broadway called Oh Hello where they act like these two, like, older Upper West Side Jews. And it was the funniest shit ever, right? John Mulaney has a special out right now called The Comeback Kid. And he's, by the way, he's going to sell out Radio City for, like, eight nights in a row or something, like, top of the year. He is the funniest fucking guy so ever. So funny. Don't bring us through to see him. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Seriously. All right. Sure. Dead ass. Yeah. We're g- road trip for two Jews and <laughs> two. three Yeah, Jada, three if you want to come. Yeah. yeah. Radio City. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope he uses that as a drop, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Summer <laughs> <laughs> endorsement. Um, who's up now, Jeff? Uh, Styles. Styles. I'm going to go with Lute Said Punisher. You know that was on my list, so I'm going to chuck yes. that off. I think the Punisher was great, epic. I would love if they call me for the next you one. Put on, you put me <laughs> on to it, bro. Mm. I'm going to go with Marcella. What, what is, is Marcella? One season. It's a detective lady. It's like a, it's, it's your opinion. It's a detective lady. Something happened. They called her in to figure out a case. She was retired. They called her in to figure out a case. She decided she wanted to work again. She got some family problems at home, and she blacks out. So some shit happens and she ain't sure if she murdered somebody or not while trying to solve a case at the same time. So she's running around cleaning up after herself. Hmm. And I don't want to say it because I'll give up the storyline, but it's just basically it's real fucking ill. By the way, you've seen Memento, right? Memento is on Netflix, by the way. Love Memento. Love Memento. Love Memento. Definitely. But so Marcella is the name. Marcella. Is this something that you binge watched? Yeah, once it only has one season so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched yeah. the whole joint. Yeah, yo, I binge watch almost everything. You know those nights when it's like three o'clock in the morning. It's like, should I do one more? Like, yeah. hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your next movie will start in yeah. four seconds. Yeah, like damn. I'm gonna let it come on a little bit, then I'm gonna pause it. Right, 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 right. That is what she said. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go with uh, Black Mirror. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I knew that you would love Black it. fucking Mirror. <laughs> Holy shit, baby. <laughs> right, what the, the fuck is Black Jeff? Mirror? Yo, I tried showing Dan Black Mirror. and Our Dan brother was, Dan. Dan was not into it. <laughs> um, Black Mirror is basically that That's technology cool. is going to, uh, if, you, if taken to its end point, oh, yeah. is yeah. going to fuck up your life, fuck up your world. <laughs> like, it's like everything about technology and everything that we're doing now is crazy. It's crazy. Black Mirror, Black Mirror make, make you want to say... I don't know if I want to be here for the future mm. Mm. in an honest way. Like on some real shit, if you're a certain age, you may watch Black Mirror and be like, we're <laughs> fucked. Like we're all the way Yo, fucked. Yo, I watched the first episode and I thought it was real. The one yeah. where like the, the politician and the pig. Yeah, look at Donald Trump interviews the politician and say that shit. The mm. pig was fucking crazy, dog. Crazy. That was crazy, dog. The bees. Yeah. Oh, the bees, yeah. The bees was insane. And then there's also like heartwarming stories, like when the <laughs> two women fell in love, you know? And then um and my coming... man from Get Out, his joint. Yeah. Yo. His it... joint was crazy. It's coming back. Yeah, I'm saying crazy. you didn't see it. I didn't see it. Me either. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Black Mirror is not. Black Mirror is like if you it's on their You want to see Black Mirror because you want the technology, you like video games, you like high tech shit. Uh-huh. No, but you would so like basic, it. So Black Mirror shows you how the future like the technology we into now, and here we go conspiracy again. But you know they show you yeah, everything. Yeah, that's that yeah, comes they, on my they, next question. Yeah, they show I you everything. Keep it on you for a second. They show you everything the that's fuck, coming. You know what I thought was gonna be your number one pick? What the hell? Facts. Oh, it's on my list. I, oh, all right. I, 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 I said it, God, bro. It like, wasn't why my number the fuck one. But is that the not your? I, I'm sitting there saying to myself, Why you ain't yelling? What shit? the hell? You just you just waiting for it? Yeah, I was waiting for that shit. That's on there. All right, cool. All right, so we talked about what the hell already, so we're going to pass it. <laughs> <laughs> You've had that discussion. Yeah, we had that discussion. Yeah, yeah. That's it. No, no, no. You, 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 you might as well get on it, but you know, we no, be on I'm it. Black, yeah. 
Well, Black Mirror is not like what the hell. Right. No, because it's like scripted and it's, it's, it's scripted, not real. But it's like it's unbelievable. But if you're smart enough to see where we at today and the things they're doing and the, the new technology they implement every day for us, eye scans, this and that, yeah. you'll be fucked up when you watch Black Mirror. You'll be like, oh shit. So mm. when that iPhone X came out and it could like, you know, do like the facial recognition, you're just Dog, like, like yo, I'm going to tell so you like much, some shit like this. It's, it's so, so much shit like deeper this. than that though. It's so <laughs> much deeper. It's, like, you know how you block somebody on a phone? They got it where you could block a person in real life. Like, yeah. you could just block. Like, it's an episode where I'd be like, you don't want to talk to me no more, at least you put out your remote and block me. I'm just a blur. I don't mm. even count no more. You don't hear me. You don't, but you that person still a, exists, but he just, but you wouldn't hear him, don't you? Huh? I, yeah, to you. That's right, fucked up. Right, right. It's crazy. It's like, Black Mirror is fucking crazy, yeah, dog. Not, it's coming yo, back. I just yo, been, yo, I honestly, just been honestly, I, just been, I would think I would appreciate that. If I had that you would appreciate, but it's like it's, it's damn near scary. I bet mm -hmm. someone it's you don't like fuck with and you could just block yeah. them out. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be good because nah, nah, you don't nah. gotta fight them. Listen, now when you, you see how gotta, they doing, you don't it. gotta shoot them. You don't gotta. We already saw this in Eternal Sunshine. Guys. I was just gonna say, you see Eternal Sunshine no, no, no. Uh, of the Spotless Mind, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, where like he breaks up with a girl and it's like you go to somebody and they professionally erase them from your mind. Right. Crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this uh, show called uh, Queen of the South. What is, what is Queen it's of the called South? Queen of the South. It's a girl. Incredible, incredible, bro. So yeah. Shorty, she Shorty, she witnessed some shit back in um and um where was that? Uh Colombia? Yeah. It was in Colombia and um long story short, uh she had to get out, but the she was working for she seen some shit by a Kingpin yep. that and um that she wasn't supposed to see. And she was taking documents of everything. She wrote a lot in the book that she that she witnessed. Long story short, he wanted to kill her after a while. The wife got her out of there and had her start working for her. Long story short, she try, almost is as powerful as the one that's uh, that she came to work for right now. It's called Queen of the South, man. It's some Bro, real drug crazy. cartel shit. To crazy. sum it up, yeah. she's eventually about Very to be dope. the uh, the queen of Very all dope. that empire shit. Oh shit! Queen of the South, check it out, y'all. If you're listening right now, I guarantee you're like, oh hell yeah, that shit is <laughs> hardcore. And is that's a series? series. Yeah, on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Queen of the South, it's crazy. You'll love it. From Actually, mm -hmm. it's on Fox. Is it? Yep. I was, I was watching on um, um, Netflix. All right, then they probably got the old ones on Netflix. <laughs> Fox? What do you mean Fox? Like you could binge FX? watch the shit? It's a, it's, it's an FX show. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, and so, then they put it on there. Yeah, same with like Archer and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like a yeah. bunch Archer, of like... said Archer. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with one right here. Because you were talking about, you sort of like we sort of hinted at what the number one one was for Styles. Hell yeah! But I mean, we talked about it, yeah. And I, while I haven't seen that, mm -hmm. there's a series called Chef's Table. Oh yeah, on Netflix, and it goes to all these different restaurants and shows you like My the wife art. Watches that. Yo, my wife watches that. I haven't caught that yet. It's so fucking good. Like I it gets into that. like the minds of chefs, and it gets into like the artistry of the it. The artistry, totally. And again, I haven't seen What the Health, right? Yeah. Partly because I'm afraid to. <laughs> yeah. I really am. But like the way that they source these animals and like the the methods that they give them and you know free range yeah. and all, but like to the extreme because they know there's a natural sort of cycle to these, you know, to the way that the world works. Not to sound like Bob, but there is right. Mm -hmm. And and like you I know, look into this Bob guy. Nah, Bob like, be always, dropping man. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I know his music, of course, yeah, but yeah, I gotta yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so right we're, <laughs> we're just trying to, not to kill our minds out here you know yeah. right. so but chef's table it's such a dope way to look at food and like what how people are eating and it's not just like rich shit it's like they go to like different countries and check out these random like you know places in the most random parts of the world and how they make food and it's unbelievable chef's table yes okay i gotta check it out Shout out to Styles' wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Styles, you're up. I'm going to go with... What number are we on, by the way? Oh, Ozark. Ozark. All right. Oh, yeah. Ozark was incredible. Yeah. Bateman, yeah. Legend. Is that when he found the money? I mean, he had the drug dealer's money and shit like that? Money laundering, yeah. Got you, got you. Yeah. My wife was watching that, and I was like, man, this shit is kind of dope. Making it work in the... Mm -hmm. In redneck fucking central. Yo, he told yeah. he told them dudes. I not to fuck this whole show, but he said, "Listen, y'all don't want to steal this money, because right, right? You seen that shit? Yeah. Like he's is it better or worse than Breaking Bad? I think Breaking Bad is better. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Breaking Bad 
is the best. Hell yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. I think I think um Ozark, whatever you call it, yeah. Yeah. is a little more calmer. Breaking Bad is lit. Yo. Yeah. It's Breaking lit. Bad also was like that was like the first instance of like streaming where people were just like, yo, I'm gonna binge watch this you know show. Breaking yeah. Bad, it was the white wire. Yes. Mm. Breaking Bad was the white wire on another scale. On a whole nother lifeline, you know what I mean. So it gives you the for a person who understands anything about a rough life, it gives you that can happen in any to anybody anywhere. Yeah. He was just doing that to feed his family at first, and it was for me. It was like a they show because often you see they they show you know they paint people just brown people with that mentality. Yeah, and for me, Breaking Bad was just make sure your mic is still on. I think you might have right there. Breaking Bad was fucking super dope because it just showed he was getting down, dog. Yeah. His character was ill. He was whipping up meth. <laughs> Breaking Bad in the Wire, some of the greatest shows that ever existed. Yo, those do you remember my, having to like, like wait till Sunday boys. night to watch The Sopranos or The Word. Wire and all yeah. that Word. shit? Like now it's just like watch it whenever you want and yeah. as much as you want. Word. That's, that's, that's a blessing. Yeah. But, but, yeah, it I, is. but I, 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 I say it's a blessing, but sometimes I look forward to that Sunday. Totally. To watch The Walking Dead For and sure. all these kind of shows. Yeah, family Amazon, Guy. Family yeah. Guy and yeah. stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah, speaking of The Walking Dead, is Curb. it on Netflix? Curb Your Enthusiasm. The Walking Dead is on Netflix, I think, right? And so, and that's what one of my picks is. The well, I'm not. I don't hope I'm not skipping anybody. But The Walking Dead <laughs> you is incredible. Dead. Yes, but it's fine. Yeah. Period. So yeah, you were, get, but it's get fine. with it, y'all. All right, yeah. You go back to that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to choose The Walking Dead just to there you go. just all to right, fuck cool. you up. Um. All right. I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to go with Terrace House. Terrace House. Okay, so never heard of this. Yeah, yeah, I'm all fucking naming after school specials. Terrorist House? <laughs> no, not, not yeah, watching fucking not Channel 5 after school house. specials. It is Terrace House. T A T E R R A C E. Terrace. Oh, Terrace House. Yes. Oh, I know him. Terrace House. What is yeah. it? Terrace. Okay. <laughs> so, Terrace House. He works at the cross county. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know him. Yeah. Living 3B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Terrace House is a Japanese reality show. Where they would have it's basically like real world. They have like seven strangers in a house, but it's, I think it's a uh, six very strangers. worldly, Jeff. I'm I'm a <laughs> very worldly. I'm a, I'm a I learned just person. This. I just yeah. want to say this. I appreciate yeah. your worldly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's six strangers in a house, three guys, three girls, and it's a reality show without any drama. Because Japanese people, they are they're in at least in this house. So do they have to the run up slides up. or whatever? Like it yeah. is, you know, <laughs> like them shows. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But it is, it is. Everybody's so polite, and then it's you know you have drama over like very minor things. Like two guys wanted to both ask one girl out, but that's it. It's like it's, so. It's so like, you love the tranquility. You love the Dalai <laughs> Lama ness of it. it well, are you loving the Dalai Lama ness of, yeah, the, of the show? Yeah, you fall asleep to it. Yeah, like, basically. How does this work? Like you, it was the most fascinating show I watched. Do you it. have to be an introvert for this. Yeah. Uh, you do not have to be. You might be. You might have to be. I don't know. I'm it, just saying. I'm an introvert. I'm if you're in the mood for some good tea and some yeah, some <laughs> it, no but like, bars, there so is whatever. there is like some sort of nice thing about watching people be nice to each other. I don't know. It, right. it was a, a great thing about you, bro. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. Not it was it was a right. bizarre thing. And so you know, I watched the first 13 episodes. And my friend who was also watching it. Um, she was like, oh, you got to the end. And I was like, yeah, you know, 13 episodes. And she's like, no, 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 there's like 50. I'm shocked with that kind of politeness that are they have, that amount of fucking... <laughs> no, you, you, you hear me? Are you aiming for it? Now we're going to be. With that yeah, kind of politeness connect. doesn't yeah. exist. You want, Usually people watch shows based off the drama and stuff like that. How do yeah. they go so many seasons with it's that politeness? Like, mm. it, you really do think that you would only make it like two episodes, but it's fascinating in how like how silly the whole thing is because right. it's just like also Japanese culture is so wildly different that because it's so wildly different you it's it's interesting just because it's so different you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. it's because it's not what you currently what you what you live yeah that's what makes it interesting very get that also, Styles, were you wearing like fifteen different layers of clothes? <laughs> yeah, you on his ghost face shit. Yeah, I had a, well, I had yeah, a t-shirt, yeah. I had a thermal and a hoodie. Yo, yeah, are you trying to lose weight? I know. <laughs> no, I had a thermal and a hoodie, and it's seventy oh, most, outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. I just get you know, it's December, <laughs> thermal and a hoodie. 
Sheik, you're up. But I ain't have my jacket on. I just had my True. hoodie in the thermal. True. Very yeah, brave yeah, of you. Yeah. I'm going to go with, uh, what is it, Ta- uh, uh, Tala- what do you call it? Talladega Nights? Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. Tyler Perry. No, no, no. Not Tyler Perry. You know I love Meet the Browns. Meet the Browns, boy, is fucking hilarious, man. But check it out. Uh, <laughs> Talladega Nights, if I'm saying it right. Yeah. Ricky Bobby, one Ricky of the Bobby. funniest Yo, motherfuckers. Yo. And we could go on forever about real, Will fucking Farrah. Farrah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah Farrah. Yep. Hilarious. It's a great show. I mean, Funny or die, hire us. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Two Jews and two black Let's dudes, go. hire us. Funny or die. Yeah, We're baby. open for it. Thank you. Yo, love is I love. I mean, love outstanding. And and you, and who, if you've never seen that show, that, that movie, you need to watch it immediately. As far as like um him being on top and losing his whole grip to this other to his partner yeah and yeah. moving into his fu- I don't want to tell you the movie but moving into his fucking house and, and yo they had the picture on the wall nice, the you next day the movie. Yo, huh? if that you, shit been out mad years if they ain't see it yo, you can tell them. Gonna, yeah. yeah 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 what yeah, was true. the what was the NASCAR movie with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman from like the like early nineties um not speed uh, not speed oh, um damn, um I don't uh know what movie you talking about I forgot the name fa- of it. Flash no fast fa- uh shit. Yo, that shit. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. that was. Whatever that was. Tom Cruise. <laughs> that was like the movie. serious version. This is like you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. comedy. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, By the way, check that nobody, out. nobody has ever thought of it that way. <laughs> nah, hell no. Like, why would anybody at all? Think that? At all. Yeah. 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 Serious version. Yeah, I got to go agreeing with him and shit. I'm agreeing with him like, yo, oh shit, yeah, you're right. Guys, we're not gonna make it on Terrace House. You saw Gran Turismo? It's the same as that with Clint Eastwood. No, it ain't. Yeah, there's cars in it. It's like cars. Yeah. Um, yo, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. This shit, like, okay, it started out slow. So if you get through the first episode, you're good. I promise you. The series Mindhunter. Oh, uh, I want to watch that. I haven't really watched it, good. but I want to watch it. It's really it. good. What it's about is the uh, the FBI following, like, serial killers and figuring out, like, the methodology behind their killings. Right. And it's fucking dope and disturbing. And there's a couple episodes in there directed by David Fincher, who you know is a fucking G. And it's it looks dope. It is a little wordy at times, but it's a cool story. All Fun right. fact about David Fincher, used to direct videos for Paul Abdul. Wow. There you really? go. Yeah, there you go. Look at Jeff. Fun fact. Fact. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun about- fact time. Fun <laughs> fact time. Fun, fun fact. time. Fun fun fact. Fact. From, the, from the sound of that show, fun fact about David Fisher is yeah. he took that whole shit from the first 48. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first 48. Everything you just described know, yeah. about the murders and he tried to figure out who did it. First 48, big baby. <laughs> I'm going to... Um... You're going to pass? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm definitely what the health was on the list. What the hell? Slash yeah, the queen for a dream. Requiem oh, for a dream? Yeah. yeah. I said it wrong. Yeah. Say that again for me. Oh, Requiem shit. for a dream. Wait, say Requiem Matthew McConaughey. Go say it one more time. <laughs> Requiem for a dream. Yeah, that was on my shit. The white guy <laughs> dropping mad jewels. You know, you know who directed that? Who? Darren Aronofsky. Dope. Yes. <laughs> Dope, hug him for me. He said you're gonna pass like we playing Uno. I know. <laughs> that was dope. I no, I think ne- I think Netflix was great for that because yes. one is good to have you know your Netflix and chill, watch your killing shit, your murder shit, your weird shit, right, right, yeah, off brand shit. But Netflix <laughs> could also be very informative mm-hmm. with its documentaries and what the hell thing. Say it again for me, yo. Requiem for a Dream, directed great. by Darren Aronofsky. Yeah, yeah, great, Yo, great, great joints. I'm, okay, very informative. Well, I, what's a good drug to take while watching Requiem for a Dream? Weed. Weed's not a drug. Weed's a plant. Okay. I don't do drugs. I can't really tell you about drugs to do. Mm-hmm. I can tell you what plants to do. Do you want Weed. an upper or a downer? Hybrid. Upper. That- yeah, <laughs> hybrid. hybrid oh, so you strain. can keep up with the cuts. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, sorry, okay. So what the hell? Yeah, that's something that I'm afraid to watch. Like I said, because like part of it's Why? just like ignorance is bliss, right? Like I, I enjoy eating certain things, and I don't want to like you know know no, they're that, bad. I and I don't. What I understand is that everything is bad. Is that right? Is bad. Even veggies are bad. To. Even veggies. And fruit, I fuck with unless veggies. you have your own farm. Mm-hmm. Somehow you're fucked. So the best thing is just balance it out. I mean, just watch it to watch, get a little knowledge. I'm not saying you got to do it It's not it going to turn me off to food? Just to have it, just Wait, to have it now. Vegetables are bad. What the fuck am I getting from Juices for Life? <laughs> Proud sponsor of this no, podcast. I'm just saying. <laughs> Proud I'm just sponsor saying. of this I'm just being honest with anybody out there. Like, yeah. if you, unless you have your own farm, yeah. you cannot say you're 100% safe. You didn't grow it. You didn't see it grow. You didn't put your hands on it. You didn't watch it. You, didn't, you know, mm-hmm. I could go, Juices for Life, we could go to the market. That's not to say... 
somebody at the market say, hey, let's let's slip a bullshit batch of kale in here yeah. mm-hmm. or strawberries. Like, how you know, yeah. that's life until you handle everything. Now, fortunately, we're trying to get there one day, but right now we're not there. <laughs> so I, I get on Styles. Me and Styles have this convo all the time. I tell him, ask him. He know what I'm about to say. I say, yo. I can't wait till they organic come out weed, with organic weed, Luch. They got organic weed. I can't wait till they come out with what the weed. Smoke it all the time. What mm. the fucking shroom? <laughs> what the fucking what the what the? But what that's the, the thing, though. Yeah, I can't wait till they come but out with what the, the Motrin. What the what the what the painkiller for your knee? What the? What you, all of that. I'm I'm with you with that. Like so I don't say like yeah, I'm are, not. Are you an investor? I'm not an investor, <laughs> but I just think it's kind of what you said. It's yeah. Like, oh. Look, dude. I drink weed. Yeah. I mean, I drink liquor. Mm-hmm. I smoke weed. With the right. yak. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Right. I do. Yeah. I do a lot of things, but everything is about moderation and just being knowledgeable okay. of it. I'm with I smoke that. like I'm like with I that. smoke weed. Like if you was to tell, me, I don't think weed is bad for you. No one's ever been killed by weed. Do I think that the um, tobacco and the paper I smoke the weed in is bad for you? Yes. yes. Yeah. Should I smoke out of all bong? Yes. Is there bad weed where people throw chemicals on their shit? Yes. Or there people you could get with great weed that farm it and grow it? Correct? Yes. So you know what I mean? That's with everything in life, though. Like, you're absolutely correct. Because there's a lot of people who buy weed and they don't know... What the medicine... What, what's this, on the what shit. The, that's with everything. That's with, like, that's with everything in life. But I just feel like the, the most... The, the easiest thing to kill with people um, with is water, food, and miseducation. That's the simplest things. You can, you can kill the masses. <laughs> kill them with a knife. Not the masses. <laughs> I mean the masses when it comes to the masses. Gotcha. Oh, a knife. Oh, a knife. <laughs> but the knife works very well, though. I have to agree with you. Guys. Oh, man. You're sure. right. You're right, though. Either way. Yeah. Sure. I, you know, I, me, I'll, have, I'll have my debates with him, but you know, it stops with me fast because either way it's all healthy man and it's anything he's saying is like for the for the best of you if you want the truth man you know right. what i mean it's how right. could you how could you be mad at it you know it's hard to be mad at it so that's what it is yeah. what do you eat after you go to the gym um uh <laughs> a little bit of everything or anything <laughs> i fucking want like you know what i mean but, but for the most part it'd be like a sandwich or tuna or like yeah. shit like that right you know for the most part yeah jeff what you got okay um i'm gonna go with what number are we on I think I never, I never. Um, I, I didn't do numbers. I only got two. Yeah, on I feel like there's two left. Yeah, okay. Because I, I, I did twelve, and so I'm looking at. It, I'm like, we have a <laughs> lot left. I'm gonna go with uh, this movie Raiders. Um, Raiders, which is of the Lost. Oh, Ball. yeah, sort so of. So it's basically this these kids who were growing up when uh, all the Indiana Jones movies were coming out. He was growing up in, I think, Alabama, mm-hmm. and he was like, I want to make those movies. And so him and his friends, they sort of did like what the Wolfpack did, but it was outdoors and they have all the footage. And it's like watching these kids grow up while making these movies, remaking these movies shot for shot. And then you see at the end that there's a a major twist or like a a completion, if you will, of this project. So it's 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 uh, really awesome. It's really great. Yeah. I've seen that on there too. I haven't watched it. That's though. really good. Into that. That's really good. Chic. To go on some comedy shit, I want to say watch Dave Chappelle's new stand up. There you go. You know, on, 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 on Netflix. Yo. Hilarious. He I touched feel like on you're a lot really of topics. I'm going out on a limb in this room. <laughs> yeah, Being man. real vulnerable. I'm switching it up. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. switching it all over the place. You yeah. know I don't know where the fuck you guys at with some of y'all shit that y'all <laughs> talking about and shit. <laughs> Fucking Raiders. But Dave Chappelle, when he came, I thought it was important that he, for, for one, that he got back into the game. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then the topics that he was talking about and being as, he, he was he was edgy, but still gave his opinion on certain shit, which was pretty cool, man. And So I, I saw him. Mm-hmm. Did you see him at Radio City or no? Nah. So mm-hmm. one of the greatest things. Didn't they, you go? Did you go? Nah, you didn't. Uh, I thought you no, were. I don't think right. They, oh, they so take cool. your phone from you and they put it in this pouch that like, you know, like yeah, her, magnetizes, her. Mm-hmm. right? Which creates an atmosphere where it's like you're focused on the act, right. and he doesn't have to like you know water his shit down. He's able to just like talk, talk because no one's going to record it and be like, "Oh, TMZ, look what Dave Chappelle said." Mm. Yeah. So do he, you like uh, when when audiences film you or no? Like in hip hop, I don't mind. It spreads everywhere and it shows how dope your show was. You know what I mean? It's different than. He but I'm saying have- like for your for your crowd to be like front row. And be on their phones. Like if you're at oh. SOBs, if you're at oh no 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 fuck that. You gotta be. <laughs> I'd rather the camera be like this filming me. Yeah, that's cool. But mm-hmm. for us texting whoever, nah. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck off the phone and, and listen to this shit. All right. Well, next time I'll try and stay off my phone. <laughs> got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in the metal pouch. For you. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I think you should. Everybody should check the um, 
the uh, Chappelle. the Netflix Chappelle show on that one. You know what I mean? He's back. He's yeah. back. I don't know if he ever left, but he's back. All right, I'm gonna go with one. I'm gonna save my most random one for the for the number one one. But I'm gonna go with something that I know we all fuck with, which is Pulp Fiction. Yes. Oh, I'm oh, on yeah. it too. Great. Pulp I got Fiction. that on the list too. Yeah. Great. 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 Yeah. That's something that lasts forever. Oscar. All yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> two Jews, two black dudes. <laughs> Oscar. Stamp, yeah. of yeah. Stamp, Stamp of approval. Stamp of approval. <laughs> Stamp of approval. Yeah. Right. yeah. Media Oscar. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> social media. Rewatchability. Stamp approval. Yeah. Social like media quotes, Oscar. Yeah. The acting, the storyline, the way it's directed. Crazy. I got Samuel John DeVolta. I mean everybody. Amazing. The list goes on about who the heart, is amazing. incredible. Yeah. The music, the amazing. soundtrack, prank call, prank, like yeah. all that, yeah. everything. Yeah. You in the twist that it took? Let me fuck that nigga in the, in, the, in the street and shit. Word. Like yo, oh shit! How'd he even allow that scene? The big nigga. Yo. Vin, was Vin Vin uh, Vin, 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 Vin Rams. Yeah, uh, like yeah. oh yeah. shit, that shit just happened. <laughs> like you know. Zed Zed some hard I was like, that. oh shit. Get some hard hitting niggas from yeah. Esau. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Get some hard hitting niggas from Esau. Outstanding, man. Incredible. <laughs> I think it business no, after that. Okay. <laughs> ah. Some hard hitting niggas. Yeah, that's Yo. crazy. So second to last. Second to last, right? Second to yeah. last. I'm going to go with the Defenders. The defenders. Right, well, you already know that we're off board, so so just talk about Marvel, it. Marvel, yeah, yeah. Marvel, 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 man, <laughs> Marvel, man, it's amazing. It's red. It's, it's um, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke, Luke Cage, Iron Fist together. It's dope. Check it out. All right. I will check it out. I promise. I'm gonna watch the the say, Punisher. Did I say the Defenders or the Avengers? You might have meant the Avengers. The oh. Avengers, I meant to say. By the way. Jeff and I didn't even notice. Like right. that's how yeah, I, I was, Luke I was we are. Yeah, ready, but I had we're like the like, defenders. Uh, oh yeah, I like say the Avengers. <laughs> I'm like either way, I'm not on board. <laughs> but that was dope. It was dope. <laughs> um, I'm up. All right, I'm gonna say the crown. The crown, which is uh, okay. Shit, so man. I don't give a shit about British royalty in any way. Um, Eric and I were heading over to London, and I was like, I wanted to watch something on Netflix, and I watched this this Netflix series, which I'd heard so much about about British royalty in the whenever Queen Elizabeth assumed power mm -hmm. and it's so well done and it's it's true to life um, but I didn't think I would I care at all that. about like you know any of the princesses queens none of that and then and I, I still don't care about the current um, the the wedding that's gonna happen right with uh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't okay, Prince Harry prince and, yeah Prince and um let me tell you something man yeah you, you and took it was a, the defenders I'm not defenders it's okay. the defenders the Avengers you took a <laughs> hell of a twist today with me <laughs> not a Yo, no, no 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 I, I get it but all your picks we gotta make very, sure you don't very kill very very educated and then um 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 well traveled yes, yes. I wear picks, glasses. and I didn't know that bro I thought he was gonna come with the extreme you got that from him. Yes. I thought I was worried about him being a serial killer. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like goddamn! I'm like yo. So I seen this show and um, it really expressed the atoms and the molecules of uh. I saw with a checkered jacket. Like, yo, yeah. Pretty fucking cool, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Jacket, yeah. Yeah. All right. No, now I know what movie to talk about with your ass. Yeah. No, by the way, yeah. I, I, I'll say I uh, I'm, I'm learned, but I'm not like an emotional uh viewer. I'm not like I don't connect in that way. I think that Eric is more emotional. Yes. Okay. Uh yeah. So you, you cry. Never, you never when, cried oh. on a film? So you cry. Yo, and, uh, Here's where I'm at in life, guys. You never cried on a film? I mean, yeah. you never? Yeah, I I probably have. Yeah, but not I I barely cry. You guys know my real life situation at, at right, this point. Right, but okay. also, I'm at the point in my life where like I was on a plane recently and what was I watching um uh what's the agent the the sports agent with Jerry Maguire, right? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. comes on. And I'm at like, you know, 40,000 feet and I'm just like, oh, this is real emotional. And I'm like crying and I was just like, this is real life. And then Jeff was like, no, actually, like at 40,000 feet, you're like, you know, your vibrations get all like strange and out of whack or whatever. Wow. So, but I was really? like, no, I think it really hit me. Like, if we're I would, I would like never that. say vibrations, by the way. <laughs> if the show never. Me the money part or what part? It, yeah, yeah. It was the It was the relationship that part. Nah, it was the relationship. We're going to go with it was the show me the money part. That made never, me cry. It, it was the you complete me part. I, yeah. I, I, if we are admitting shit, some yeah. commercials with me get me choked the fuck up. Yo, like like in Dumb no. and Dumber when that no, happens? No, no, like, no, 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 no. With me, know. with me on some serious shit, it would be the cancer commercials. Oh, yeah. When, when they show certain shit. Yeah, the ones that want to make you cry, you cry. Yeah. That's them. real. Yeah, for yeah, me, that's yeah, real, it does. It does. You know, I lost my mom to cancer. Yeah, yeah. We lost our dad to cancer. Yeah. So it's like certain shit is like, oh, my God, I can't turn this shit. Yeah. 
And and it does. I don't know why. This fucks me up. That's yeah. real. It's, so it's designed, designed to make you. Get I appreciate high. you. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. shouldn't I'm feel bad about that. Basket yeah. case. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've listened to your lyrics, so I know. <laughs> I want to shoot the TV sometimes. <laughs> but I want to you, you have a 4K giant TV. Like you know, <laughs> don't fuck that up. Nah, not at all. <laughs> Just throw shit under it. Did <laughs> so sock. Jeff, where we are? We're at. Is it me? I think so. He might have. No, he just went. You you just he went. Just went. Yeah. So yeah, it's you. The very crown. scientific movie. Yo, went with the yeah, crown. I did, I did yeah, the crown. The crown. Yeah. So, crown. And by the way, this is your final pick. This is not my number one pick, but it kind of I have it here. Yep. And it is Luke Cage. Luke on Cage. Netflix. Luke Cage. Yeah. Luke, Luke Cage. Cage. That's a good. I, do, I think it's amazing. No fucking way. <laughs> right. This bulletproof black dude and shit. I get where he came from and shit. But yeah. but. You know, the bugged out shit with it is, um, I told you, Styles, every time they get into a situation, they go, I'm going to do this for Madam C.J. Walker. She, she, or oh, Martin Luther King. He drops knowledge while he's saving you. <laughs> like, holy shit, man. You know what make Luke Cage extra dope? Every episode's named after a guru track. After a guru track? After a guru nah, track. That. Wow. If you look at Luke Cage, if you watch the whole Would it be first... fair to say Primo did the soundtrack? Wait, somebody. Oh, no. <laughs> you know who wrote it, though, right? Is know. that Cheo? Uh, yeah, Cheo Coker. Cheo Coker. <laughs> Yo, why is that, though? Why is it Guru? Uh, like, no, he, no, listen. So, the, the guy, the showrunner of it, Cheo Coker, was a former, like, writer for The Source. Okay. And, like, did, like, the definitive, like, yeah. big, Biggie uh, book, right? I think so. Yeah. Like, he was, like, I don't know. Way I, I have to it. watch uh, Noah Callahan Bever's interview with him. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But that's real. All yeah. Right, so that was mine, Luke but, Cage. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's this guy. It's a black dude. Um, he's not. As, he's not that diesel. He this. He's he's has special powers. I don't know what the fuck happened to him and shit. But um, he can take bullets. And um, and um, he just fucking up Harlem and just yeah. <laughs> destroying everybody and shit. And the fights are somewhat corny. <laughs> but I watched every fucking show because I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited for Black Panther? Woo! I don't you know. Ain't? Yet. I don't know yet. Oh, you didn't see the you didn't see the preview. Nah, not you really. Pre- you I excited? See, I seen it. You excited? Yeah, nah, I gotta check it out. You know, you know, nah, trust it. me, you yeah. excited? I gotta you check are it out. excited, check brother. It out. I'm excited for you. You excited? All right, cool. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Planet of the Apes? Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, my final pick yeah. is one out of left field. It's a documentary. It's called the Barkley Marathon, right? And it's about oh yeah. It, this, this documentary is fucking crazy because I don't know like how much you guys like run like on your own like you know free will like just running down the street. Luch runs every day, but like on a treadmill or like through the, the path. Oh shit! Okay, you'll love this then. Yeah. Okay, this is like made for you. Okay. What happened was there I was forgot about those. Yeah, the Barclay Marathon. It's like like Charles Barkley, but like mm-hmm. not but you spell the same not Charles Barkley. Though. Right. Yeah. Um it, somewhere in the south, like maybe in like the It's in like Tennessee or something. Yeah, in Tennessee, there were some escaped convicts and they ran through this path up a mountain and like hit out and these people later on in life were like, Yo, I wanna create this marathon and do that same trail, but we're gonna switch it up every year and we're gonna put a uh, a sort of like um uh, a lottery out there for people who want to run this. So only a certain number of people can do it. It's done in secret. They go down there. It's 24 hours, right? And you're constantly running, and you have to go one direction one time in a circle. Then you well, have to go like – It's also an ultra marathon, right? Like it's more oh, than 26 miles. Yeah, it's, it's something Jesus like 50 – it's 50 miles or something wow. like that. Yeah, or it's 100 crazy. or something. And then you have to go the other way, and then you have to go – And by around. the way, it's so hard to get to. It's, it's somewhere where it's just like – You're running through pricker bushes and like or amongst like – uneven ground and like this all this crazy shit you yeah, go they past make it the, as impossible as 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 they can to finish this race and then yeah. people no, actually like, do a it's a on your on your own legs yeah yeah oh and and to prove that you hit certain spots they leave books there and you have to rip a certain page out right and bring those pages mm. to the finish line to show them Dang. that this is done it's a crazy documentary it's super awesome and what these people do to their That's fucking body documentary is insane That's yeah crazy. the barclay how long marathon. does it take to do i think it's like a whole weekend Shit. it's definitely definitely like you run through the day and night and you're like constantly people moving. but it's how like, meaning meaning like but meaning like um you continue like me. Oh, yeah. you, you go to sleep and wake up. Or? No, no. Oh, and then oh, so, they also switch yeah. the starting time up on you. Like yeah. just well, like it's at least two laps, right? So go. they have to go um, one direction. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And then through they the night, and then they have to go the other way. Yeah, so that's yeah. not the same that. thing. Yeah. And then they do it a third time. Yeah, I wasn't listening. It's a crazy. I was sort of listening. <laughs> All right, okay. Styles, you are up. 
Um, final pick. So my final one is kind of a slash. I would have mentioned it, but now it's off the list. <laughs> House of Cards was on the list. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Till they said my man Kevin Spacey is rapey. Right. <laughs> So I thought it was a dope series. I thought it was excellent. I thought it showed a lot of inner workings of things we particularly don't know about the government. Are you in on the the next and final season considering he's not a part of it? Yeah, I'm still watching. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm still watch it. Right. So since it was House of Cards on that was there, like but all the government, right? Like Yeah, yeah. it was it's a real dope show. Yeah. I thought it was a real dope show. Written extremely well. Written yeah. well. Shot well. A lot yeah. of shit happened. Totally. Shows you the inner workings of a lot, but Kevin Spacey is rapey, so and, um, we got it. Damn, not yeah. Kaza Sose. That's all I can yeah. say. Oh, Give him man. a shot. We don't know not if he's rapey yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. no he's he's rapey. Rapey. What do you guys? Uh, that's a good question. I'm, he's rapey. You know, he's I hate rapey. to inter- interview you guys. But yeah. There's a lot going on with everybody accusing us men as, as doing this and that. Right. 20, 30, 40 years ago. Right. Shit like that. So you're going right. to ask two fellow so, men. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. Like, I, you know what I can't wait for? You know what it was? Mm-hmm. When you hear the first one, you got to say you don't know. All right. But when the people from House of Cards, the staff, come out and say Kevin Spacey got tendencies to be weird, do weird shit, well, yeah, so I got to ride with. But is he saying, "Yo, she got a fat ass," and that's what's getting him charges, or is he? No, it wasn't it was, she's. No, it was he's. It was he's. Yeah, but it was also like, <laughs> it wasn't she's. It's much darker than that. All right, guys, I didn't know all that. <laughs> yeah. That he meant he. It wasn't she's. You know, it was he's but, with okay. Kevin Spacey. But, but uh, when you start off with Harvey Weinstein, okay. and it's just like. Remember when, like, the Tiger Woods uh, situation happened and it was mm-hmm. just like, oh, yeah, there's, like, you know, 63 girls and this is, like, not just one isolated case? Yeah. That's, like, what the Harvey Weinstein thing is. And then that just sort of started this avalanche of things where it's, like, cool. it's it's harder and harder to trust any dude who has, like, an allegation against right. him at this point, you know? Right. I'm waiting for the day some men come out and say, this bitch was trying to fail on me and do whatever. Like, you know when a bitch in the gym ain't staring at me? It, or like, like, come on, man. Some, I think that actually may happen soon. Yeah. Hey, yeah, man. I know she ain't on your di- like she. Yeah, because you can't never tell about the Paul. Shit. It's like if we say, "Yo, I was headed to the stage, and this girl just grabbed my balls." That's, come on, like man. they'd be like, "Okay, just eat it." Right. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's like Un- society until, has until it turns. Society has to have a way to balance everything out. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But. Definitely though, for a long time, dudes in power have been taking advantage of the power. I can believe it. it is. Like you know yeah. what I mean, and um, yeah. you know what's the to me this is what the sucker shit about it is, and I ain't you know this is my only thing. If you got money, you don't gotta be rapey. Yo, right? Just keep shooting your shot and also, spend money. Also, it's a lot of like older dudes, and it's yeah. just like yeah, it's like you want some Viking shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some like Viking shit. Like promising these young people a lot of shit that you could do for them. Yeah, it's like crazy. you know, lay on yeah. the producer's couch and then you know. Right. Yeah, but exactly. here are two yeah, Jews and two black dudes That's at right, the reviews. Yeah. We do not support any of this. At all. Even yeah, at equality all. <laughs> between genders, races. Aliens, Amen. people, Aliens. movies, yeah. right. songs, whatever the fuck it is, we believe in equality <laughs> over here. That's two right. Jews right. and two black dudes yeah. review yeah. the movies and more. <laughs> Love. And so. now I have to go into my final pick. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hell of a setup. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the thing about me is I mostly just watch like two things over and over and over. Um, and it's mostly cartoons. I mostly watch Archer. I mostly watch. Um, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. I mostly watch uh, the Office, the the U.S. edition. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, you you could kill anybody on any given day if something goes wrong, right? How's that? Oh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> What's your pick? My pick is BoJack Horseman, which is what the, the best. <laughs> thing. Okay, BoJack Holy Horseman. Shit. You would like it because it's a cartoon and it's and it's funny, like. Um, like Family Guy, I feel like Styles would like it because it's dark. Um, it's it's just is like this aired in the states. It's aired in the states. All this is aired in the states. Okay. Yeah, International Jeff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but what's it called? Bojack Horseman. So it is a cartoon horse living in a world where which is populated by both animals and people, and everybody functions as people, but they all have uh, qualities that you know. If you're a horse, you have some horse like qualities. If you're a fish, you have fish like qualities. And it's a He's a washed up actor. He's basically like Scott Bayo from Charles in Charge. <laughs> okay. But he is is he exists now, like thirty years later, but he watches his old T V show and he you know uh he, he yearns for the past and it's a very uh funny and melancholy and really smart show. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> shrooms. Shrooms, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's I'm going to say shrooms. It's a hell of a drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> shrooms. Yo, this was, this was awesome. Yeah. This is very gonna, awesome. This yeah. is only a preview I know. of what's about to take place, y'all. Y'all don't get it. Yo, when we all go see Coco in the theater, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. Coco. You'll bring, <laughs> you'll bring, you'll bring your gun. Yeah. You'll bring yeah. your edibles. Uh, we'll bring talk. Yeah. I'll bring my knife. Yeah. 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 And shrooms. Yeah. 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 This is a great time, guys. We'll, we'll do this again soon. Yes, sir. So, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> two Jews, two black dudes, review movies and more. It's been great. Let us know what movies you'd like us to review. Yeah. And we will review them. <laughs> and if you want to send in the money for the tickets, we will take that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Thanks, everyone, for listening to this new episode of A Waste Time with It's The Real, this special episode of the 12 Days of Podcast that we're calling Two Jews and Two Black Dudes Review the Movies. Jeff, if people want to find out more about us, I'm Eric, you're Jeff, that's Sheep, that's Styles. If people want to find out more about this podcast, it's called A Waste Time with It's The Real, and we're doing 12 of them in a row, the stupidest idea that we do every year. Jeff, if people want to find out more about our upcoming show at SOBs on January 10th, 2018, where can they go get tickets? You can always buy tickets at itstherial.com, I-T-S-T-H-E-R-E-A-L, no apostrophe, no spaces. You can also listen to our podcast anywhere, but especially iTunes. Search for A Waste of Time with It's The Real and also on soundcloud.com slash a waste of time. You can always find us on the internet at It's The Real on Twitter, at It's The Real on Facebook, at It's The Real on Instagram. We're also on Snapchat to a lesser degree at It's It's The Real and Twitch at It's The Real It's The Real. All right. I think you're forgetting one of the biggest components of what we do, Jeff, our music, which oh, is right. available on Spotify right now. Our single, Sugar High, featuring Currency and Smoke Dizza, is at 500,000 plays and counting. We went gold. Go press play on that single. Go listen to the rest of Teddy Bear Fresh, our debut album there, and get excited for our next project, which we are in pre-production on right now. Shout out to Greg Mayo. Jeff, this podcast will not go anywhere. It will not grow. It will not multiply. It will not happen anymore unless you guys spread the word and we know that it starts with us telling our friends, fans, and family to tell people about this podcast, A Waste of Time, It's The Real. Jeff, who do you want to tell? I want to tell Stretch4130 on Twitter, even though Stretch is spelled wrong. But he was painting Star Wars Christmas ornaments, something I do not identify with. And he said he was watching the It's The Real Rockefeller Celebration, and he couldn't help but throw in a rock logo ornament. So, shouts to him, shouts to the Rockefeller family, and shouts to that one... Rockefeller ornament because I do not know anything about Star Wars. All right. Well, Jeff, I want to shout out fellow podcasters, Awesome Nobody and Lil Miss Entertainment who attended our first SOB show in New York City last February, our first show in Los Angeles this past November, and are planning to come to our January 10th return to SOBs. In fact, they shouted us out on Instagram, and I'm going to read you what they said right now, which is, Friends of the show at It's The Real are having a live hashtag podcast event at the legendary SOBs in New York City on January 10th, 2018. This is a must-attend event, full of surprises and special guests with two exclamation points. At Lil Miss Entertainment and I went to their show last time at SOB's and their LA show, so you know we can't miss this one. Get your tickets online now because they will sell out fast as Fiddock. Listen to our friends Awesome Nobody and Lil Miss Entertainment and get your tickets right now. Not for real, for real. Sure, sure. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr